This is your boy N A O N A A. What up? It's DJ E F N. And this is Military Crazy Raw Drink Champs. Let's go. Yappy motherfucking hour. Make some noise! <laughs> and I'm proud to announce something before we announce the people that's here. I want to announce that this is our first show of 2023. Happy New Year. You buddy. was on vacation. You was on vacation too. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so before we get into that. And I also laid two verses, one for math and one for the Drink Champs album that we're making, Woo! we're making up. So before we get into all that, I wanted to say happy birthday to, to our friend Russ. Where Russ at? Russ, come on. Yeah. Here. <laughs> happy birthday, our good, our good friend Russ. But right now, what I like to say, this is one of the hottest podcasts on the street. They arguing, they start controversy. I was so happy to see them in controversy. I was like, get, get it. Get it. <laughs> I was like, yeah. And I'm so proud to introduce my expert opinion on the motherfucking drink jam. Man, I can't, I can't. You know, math, I'm gonna be honest with you, math. Yeah. Like, I, 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 I brag you. about you. Yes. I brag about you because yes. you're one of the people who actually listen, listen to, to me. everything that you say. <laughs> and I'll be like, yo, right. this shit be working. I'll be scared to give them an advice because I don't want shit to not work no more. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, but. Guys, you guys have been on a roll. How did how did how did we come here? Because I, I feels, it feels like the show. Let me mm -hmm. speak about the show. It feels like the show. This is like its third leg. Like it's its third different because it's, like iteration of yeah, it. Yeah, like right. yes. And so so it describes to the people who who who. Well, for, first I want to say mm -hmm. part of me even getting here mm -hmm. was you believing. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You know, I was the first Make battle rapper. Me? Yes, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Moore. <laughs> I was, I, 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 was, I was the first battle rapper with drink champ. That's right. You know what I mean? That's yeah. right. And, That's right. And just knowing that you had that type of mm -hmm. um, belief mm -hmm. in what I was doing, mm -hmm. and you put me on a platform that mm -hmm. you've had Nas, right. so many, like so many legends. That's right. That gave me a lot of energy to just go back in and keep it going. You know what I mean? Right. And I found a good crew. And we're here so now. How, how did we get here, though? Because I remember it felt like it was a different crew in the beginning, and then we right. had the girl. No, right? Yeah, yeah. That, that, that was one of the things okay. that, that you told me, mm -hmm. told me to do. I did right. that. Shout out to Misfit. You know, right. I stole a homie. But she went on. She had she created her own platform. Which is dope. And we're working on something with her now for the future. Right. Um, yeah, and it was Knowledge. Shout mm -hmm. out to Knowledge. Hip Hop is real. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he still covers all the battle rap events and all that okay. stuff. Like, he's okay. they're, they're number one in that field. Right. Shout out to Uncle Ra also. And, um, yeah, after that, it was kind of like, you know, just just finding the right niche. Right. You know, with a, with a barbershop, every time you walk in a barbershop, you're not going to see the same person. Right. So... You know, it was like that for a little while, but I feel like I got a good squad now, right. and we're here. Yeah, here, man. Make yeah. some noise for that. Yeah, Make some noise yeah. for that. And give them the flowers. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, off top, let's give y'all y'all flowers, man. Y'all deserve y'all flowers. Let's yes. give them y'all flowers. And we could have gave, it's you know, the lead. Lead. Our, our crew is fucking sucks. Look, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's right in front of you, goddammit. Jesus, we had this shit all, <laughs> we had this shit all together. You got us, nah, we don't look like experts at all over here. Right. Jesus. <laughs> we look like interns over here. Jesus, yeah. Come on, come on, goddamn. But I, I, but I want to say, uh, uh, we, uh, we literally wow. giving y'all y'all flowers. Oh, wow, that's wow. all. Come on, y'all, make some noise. Make some noise, man. Yeah. You know what it is yeah. to be in the trenches, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, hell yeah. Nori. Yeah. Yes. Epic. 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 Epic.
sir. You coming from a journalistic background, mm -hmm. right? And you now having to be critiqued, right? Because <laughs> there's people who's going to have an opinion on you the same way you had opinions on it. Is, is that something when it flips on you? Is it something that you... No, um, no, no, not at all. No, first of all... all right. um, we was getting picked at at the source all the time. Really? Mm. God forbid you rate right. an album if if this is your favorite rapper. Yo, I thought about that the other day. I'm sorry. But Benzino really gave himself four and a half mic. <laughs> yo, yo, I, yo, yo. I thought about that the other day. I was like, my man is out of line, my nigga. Like, it's my man. I love him. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 you, you, I'm brain fart. My bad. You, didn't, you think we didn't get criticized for that? No, I did not Absolutely. know. Bro, I did But back what? then, y'all didn't have Instagram and Twitter and shit like that. So right. the it's bullies, different the now. The were actually outside. All right. And I was outside. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it People like that. People wanted to talk okay. were actually outside. So you, for the longest time, my name was Mecca from the source. Everybody knew where yes. I worked. Yeah. Right. So I think you saved under my phone. This is fucked up. Here we go. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. We go. So wait, we go. so all the drama you had at the source, is that why you started doing martial arts? Here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm just go. curious. I'm Yo, trying, look, I've been trying to figure out <laughs> where this really, comes from. He really has my <laughs> Mecca <laughs> source. <laughs> it's fucked up. I didn't realize that. And you know what it is. No, I made my bones in there. I'm not mad right. at it. But at the same time, if you ask me if critique is something new, it's, it's really not. Riley, mm. I had your favorite your favorite rappers fans were mad you at some, us yeah, for whatever reason. Yeah. Your own bottle, man. We we get we get yeah, get your own bottle, sir. You know what I mean? Come on, we we get money over here, man. At least you're trying to. You know what I'm saying? You say? It's not new, right? Okay. It's not new. Really? It's not new at all. If I said something bad about Nori's album, you think his fans wouldn't show up? Oh, Riley, I I, I thought. If all your fans thought everything you did was classic, right, and we gave you four and a half, right, we had to hear it. Mm -hmm. Somebody was pulling up to say something, mm -hmm. right. So that's not new at all. You, yeah, get it to your wife. That's that's the proper thing to do. That's right. That's, right. that's not well, new at all, bro. That's so all. now, I want to ask you something because something that came up on the show, right? Mm -hmm. I know you have a, a close relationship with Buster Rounds, one of my great friends, right? Mazzy and all, and um. At one point, you had Weak the Villain, right? Mm-hmm. I, I don't remember what he said, but he said something. Plenty. <laughs> he said plenty. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, he, said yeah, plenty. he said a lot. So how do you lot. cross that line, balance it between you and Buster? Because me working with somebody who I respect versus their personal relationship are two totally separate things. It's nah. the same. It's the same. Uh, bro, how many people have your man had beef with that you didn't have beef with? I get that. But not Buster Rhymes, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're not getting away with that. Like, no, I mean, I didn't, there was nothing to really get away from. He and I have uh. been working together for years. So me mm. going to him and saying, listen, this is what, mm. this is what happened. And I talked to Math about it. Mm. We had a big, long conversation about the whole thing. Uh -huh. But I wasn't working with Bus when he was uh, dealing with Reek. Right. So I don't know what their business relationship was. I don't know what their personal relationship was. You can't I'm, really challenge I'm, nothing. I'm yeah. free to... That man's truth is that man's truth. Right, right. Buster has his own version of right. that story. You right. know what I'm saying? And no one is the villain in their own story. So mm -hmm. whoever's telling the story, they're the good guy in it. And I want to say shout out to Bus. He got but, mad at you too? But he hasn't been on the show. No. Have you noticed that? Oh. No. Oh. no. He hasn't been on the show. He didn't get show. bad. He didn't get now, bad. Bus, bus is my top, yeah, yeah, top five uh, petty friend in the world. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I, I relate though. I relate. I'm a petty dude. But, but, but it happens. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like I'm sure people come on this platform, they right. say certain things and then it I, comes I, out and then your phone is ready. It's like, yo, how you let that guy say that? And it's like, yo, what do you mean? How did we let him? Yeah, we it's a fine line. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, we yeah, heard the biggest version of that recently. Yes. Oh, journalism. <laughs> How about journalism that? might be tougher than hip-hop. Like, on the low. They don't right. hear you, though. They don't <laughs> hear you. They like, don't hear you. I'm not even going to yeah. lie to you. Like, I have my equal share of both. What I'm having, this is, I've been to hip-hop making music for 20 years, and I've only been, this, we're going on seven? Yeah, we're about to march and to seven. the controversy, it, when when something goes wrong, mm -hmm. it's a bad day yeah, in the neighborhood. Yeah, like, you guys is. got black Twitter, I assume. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I love black Twitter. Yeah. I love the negative shit. I love the positive shit. Mm -hmm. But when I'm going through something, I can't go on black on Twitter, Twitter, bro. You got to leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> it's Yo, too they, much. Uh, it's too much, bro. Did y'all receive slack for for the Troy Ave interview? Still. Uh, not just Troy Ave. I mean, still. It was a lot. Yeah, like, still. Mm -hmm. Besides besides the Troy shit, it was that that situation with Buster. Right. Yeah, we, it we was, heard um, that Shout to shout out to self service. Mm. You know, he told a story about uh, just Blaze getting slapped, and I got a bunch of phone calls about that. 
not from Just Blaze. Not from Just Blaze. No, yeah, but, shout out to, but shout but, out to Just, but, just but, Blaze. But what are people saying when you get these phone calls? They, are they saying like you shouldn't have? Did oh, that? I was there. I didn't see this. Da 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 da. And sometimes, you know, my my thing is, um, an unchecked lie becomes the truth. And yeah. I'm not saying anybody came on my platform lying. Right. I'm saying if you feel like it went another way, right. You know, this is entertainment. The same way this person came to the shop and then, mm -hmm. you know, they told their story. You can tell your story also. My issue is when people get upset and then they ignore it like they're above it when they're not above it because you're upset. If right. you're upset, you're not above it. Right. You know, there's certain things that don't bother me anymore right. because I'm above it. You know what right. I mean? But if it's, it's irking me, then you should, you should just set that straight, whether it's my platform or Drink Champs or right. whatever platform you want to go on. But don't just... Let it sit and get mad at me for it. You I, know what I mean? I, I understand. If, it's, if Styles has something to say yeah. um, <coughs> after the Jay Hood yeah. joint. Yeah. yeah. And then a lot of people called me. It was like, yeah, I could have told you that. I'm like, then why didn't you? You know what I mean? Why didn't you call you know, me? You know what it is? Like, I'm going to tell you. 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 Like, it's like, with no disrespect, like, I could never, ever even think about interviewing Cuban Link, right? Right. Because Same of my thing. relationship with Fat Joe, right. it's just, it's just, it's just, it's no disrespect to him. I have no beef. I have no quarrel. But I'm with Joe. It's just, just and, simple. And, and I, I, on another note, I can't interview Reek, Reek because of the same thing. Right. My relationship with Buster is too crazy. He's told me so. In that situation, if I was to have either of those two brothers on, I would be wrong. Right. But that's personal. Right. Wrong as a friend. As media, me, really? As media? Well, you're supposed to be a whore. Nothing's but, personal. But, but you're supposed you, to be a whore <laughs> when you're a media. You, I mean, I don't know if I'm supposed to be a whore. But, but, you, you know what I'm telling you. You're supposed to be getting fingered about the lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not, media. I'm like, whore. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. No. You got to lie. You got to lie. I'm not in the job. I don't remember that at all. For me, there are certain things that you know, like, okay, you know, my, my moral standard couldn't allow somebody who presented fake paperwork on someone mm. right. to come on a platform. Mm. This is reckless. Mm. And if you came on a platform and you said something reckless, like, I, I, would, I would be responsible for that because right. I already saw it. Mm -hmm. right. You know what Your I mean? Your brother's not drinking? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm drinking. You want some Ace of Spade? Yeah. Oh, come on, come on, goddammit. Don't drink Ace of Spade if you're not an Ace of Spade, nigga. If you're not an Ace of Spade, nigga, all right, cool. All right, cool. All right, cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so that, that was the, that was the thing, like you, you know. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Give me some Cuban <laughs> pun. Like I, I love those guys back in the days, but right. when you see certain things, it's like you got to stand, bro. So, so to I me, wish you never did that, because now it's like. To me, if you have oh. a relationship with Styles, if mm -hmm. and y'all was talking like that, then you would be wrong. But if right. y'all have a. A uh, regular industry relationship, like when you see each other, it's, it's, it's love. And, you're, and you're just a fan, or they're just a fan of you. Right. They're not understand. You know what I mean? Right. But once that relationship is, like, I remember, I remember Nas getting mad at me, right? Over, <laughs> over me hanging with Core Mega, and I, I, I thought Nas. At the time, I thought Nas would, wouldn't even care. Right. But he had expressed the feeling that, like. Oh damn! No, I like <laughs> that. I like it. That was yeah, that was together. Right that was together. Yeah. But um no. and. At that time, I didn't agree with him or nothing. And I don't know if you've ever seen this. It's a video, John Blaze. Yeah. And oh, yeah, if you yeah, ever look yeah. at the video, John Blaze, that's the day we squashed it. And if you notice, I got the microphone and I'm in the background like this because I really didn't understand him until recently. Right. I like, totally I didn't that. understand that my loyalty was supposed to be there. Like, it was never supposed to be questioned. I was supposed to never, especially at that moment, I seen you had caught back on the show right, as so well. so break it down to me. What, what, what You was... know I can't break it down. Why not? <laughs> you know, because, you know, it's a little still right, some break. No, 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 I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying, but what I'm not saying, the that, incident, but what made I, you feel like, okay, for these reasons, because I wasn't supposed to do that. do that. What are the reasons? Well, the reasons was at that time he wanted that loyalty. He wanted he wanted me to show that I was loyal to him. Did he asked you ahead of time. Mm. Yeah, actually, actually, oh, he kind of so did. Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. I found out after it was like a, it was like whatever a picture was, and then I found out that he didn't like us taking a picture. Right? It, it, and that's but, different. But that's tough. Cause yeah. then you you know you over there being like okay I can't talk to you because my friend is mad at you and then they become friends right but that person still remembers you that look you, like that so you're shading them but you know I gotta, what I mean? so, I gotta so admit, what do you do when that happened to me I got I was upset <laughs> so I mean, what I'm trying to say is if right. I'm mad at somebody 
Crap. Shit, I don't want nobody around that motherfucker, man. Who was it? But, but just, Not just it? saying that, just general. Well, well, who was it? No, it, it was the general. It was the general. <laughs> nah, it was listen, the general. It's just real. It was the general. I'm talking about life. Right. I'm talking about life, man. I can be mad at anybody. Right. I, I just, at the, yeah. at the time, I'm so loyal. I expect everyone to just fall in line into right. that, into my line like of I'm loyalty. And and it just doesn't have that. And with this, with, with, with this, it's something totally different. Because honestly, let's just nail the nail on the coffin. It's like, when Kanye called, did we know he was going to be on some crazy shit? Mm. Nah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's not totally true. Well, you did then. Yo, come out the clouds. Come out. Let's fucking talk about it. Hold on. <laughs> we talked about it. Let's, we're going to be 100%. Did, did be 100%. You see my post, though? <laughs> which, which did you one? see my post before you got in contact with, with Kanye? No, what for? Because the minute I heard that interview got canceled, I was it all did, over Instagram. Canceled. It did we, get canceled. We took it. We no, took no, it no, no, not, not that uh -huh. one. The one where he and went on uh, uh, LeBron's platform. Oh, shout yeah. Shout out to, shout he said to LeBron. He was going to come. Mm. Once I found out that they wasn't putting that out, mm. I was all over Instagram like, yo, Kanye, come on. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. We ain't going to do that. Right. All right. And then I saw you guys. I was like, damn. Nah, that was that was a rough one, man. Yeah. That was a rough one because... I kind of wish you didn't take it down. You know... I, I I I gotta stand by it because it was actually him who who requested it, it take it taken down. That's different. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, and a lot and, of people, and no, and we were between a rock and a hard place. And and Revolt stood with us and they said, We're not gonna edit this. It either stays up or comes down. That's right. that's how So you we do had it. one choice, yeah. you know, one of two choices. <laughs> are y'all working but with Revolt? No. No? We are the number one independent platform <laughs> in the world. Yeah, I'm saying, man. Come on, I seen you and Puff talking, man. Yeah, we were talking. I got eyes, motherfucker. Ain't nothing happened yet, though. <laughs> yeah. Ain't nothing yeah. happened. I know people was throwing that out there. It's false information. Don't yeah. believe them. Don't yeah. believe them. They're unreliable sources. <laughs> Don't how about, believe how about, them. How about, how about you? you, you uh, what, do, what do you feel about independent or major? Independent. Um, I feel independent is always the right way to go because you get to build your own narrative. All right. You know, when you go with Major, you're going with someone else's narrative. Not really. Yeah, you know, you know what? I say, I uh -huh. say in other cases, yes. Yeah. But in Puff, Puff's case, Puff I was surprised what? that you did the Kanye thing after everything that was going on. Are you trying to go back to Kanye? Try to get off. No. Try to run away from the top. Nah, nigga. Do me right now back we got in you the, now. Do me right back in the studio. Well, come on, nigga. <laughs> oh, hold on. Before I keep pushing this Kanye thing, can you send that verse? So it's exist. <laughs> oh, I got you. I'm going to get drunk and forget. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> but I was, I was surprised because mm -hmm. of what, what they went through. Well, who? With who? Um, with Kanye, what he was saying about Puff. Listen, I'm going to be honest. I'll be honest. But yeah, tell him, because this is... I'll be honest. This shit was right. All the years we ever worked with, with, with Puff, he's never called us about an episode. This nigga called me on FaceTime with the shit playing. Yo, Playboy. And then he was like, <laughs> he was like, so I'm thinking he going to scream on me like, yo, how you going to let this guy say this? This is a part of you that be like, man, fuck that. Because he, he, he can't have none of our creativity. He can't be a part of it. Mm. That's what we, we are sign. independent. Right. We are independent. We, we, we own just all of our content. Money. We right. license. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that yeah. needs we, to be understood. No, this is, this is a we, partnership. We it's a partnership. Yeah. Cool. Like, right, I, right. I don't know if y'all, if you, if the verse I just said, I said, fuck it, you know, I'm feeling good. So what did I say? What did I say? I said, I said, this sound like some old camera. Nori got a stamp on. Stay in it like a tampon. Mm. I said, rap podcast millionaire. I'm the first one. Before me, they get their YouTubes for free. Them IPOs, they ain't on. Only me and E. Mm. Yeah. I'm getting it back. I'm getting it back. And, and that's going to be another conversation I'm going to have with you right after yeah, the show. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm -hmm. you know? yeah, we got you, man. But, but hold up, hold up. But be clear. Nobody is truly independent unless we own these distribution platforms, which nobody that's here true. does. That's true. You partner you know? with somebody. You, you partner yeah. with, with, the, with YouTube yep. or, or whatever Omni that's distributing to mm -hmm. Apple and all these people. But, that's, but, that's the problem. I, We're I not really with, independent. I would say, yeah, with, you, with YouTube somewhat, but it's still not a... Uh, but then I guess they do kind of if control they can you. They can. They can take you down. Yeah. They can. They can. It's a, it's a partnership. It's yeah. all yeah. kinds of and, things. Yeah. If you got to sign yeah. those agreements and play by their rules, right. that's a partnership. Listen, I, listen I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm ready to sell out. <laughs> I'm ready, nigga. We done, we, oh, we started 2023. Relax a yeah, second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's time for a new on. partnership. Listen, congratulations. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Amen. So, 
You know, great moves. This is a great move. I'll be partnering with some good people. And um, they showed us that they wanted us. Mm-hmm. If you know what I mean. Yeah. So what's, what's yeah. the... <laughs> come on, come on, come so how much, how much control do they... Uh, None. What kind of control do they want to exercise that's, that's, over your content? Nobody. No the thing control. about Drink Champs The only is, control could be that, that they could end the deal if they want to, but yeah. we now own the content. We, now, we just license. With that in mind... How, I like how y'all flipping it on us right now. You think we don't mind. know what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> we bring it on right here. So, so with that in mind, mm-hmm. how how what's the what's the hardest part about interviewing somebody who's where it's going to be difficult? Were they going to say something super I, uncomfortable? Yeah. I mean, you know, at the, end of, at the end of the day, you know, we wanted to get back to like me and EF friend. We hardly ever speak. Just me and him. It's always like someone's on the phone. And one time we just spoke and we was like, As let's just get back. Years. Let's get, yeah, I know. This, this, this fucking shit ruined us. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and he, we just said, yo, let's get back to the legends, man. Mm-hmm. Like, let's, let's like the essence of you both. know, sometimes we were started to chase, I don't want to say clickbait, but we started to chase those, those, those so much things that's happening. Those moments. Right. And we're going to take mm-hmm. those too. You know, I got these relationships with these people. You right. know what I mean? I, I can't help it. But I want to get back to the cool Herx. Like, I love that y'all have Melly Mel. But then you're going to say something that's so people scared of Melly Mel. I'm scared of Melly Mel. Listen, Melly Mel never used to give me a five. I've never said this story. I've been wanting to say this forever. Melly Mel has never gave me a five. And the first time Melly Mel gave me a five is after Drink Champ started. I swear to God. That's dope. I swear to God. That's dope. By the way, like I said, when you have Melly Mel and Grandmaster Cass on there, I'm like, you know, that's what that's what me and EFN is about. We're like, yo, let's, let's give these props to, you know, the cool Herx, you know what I'm saying? The people that, you know what I mean? And especially while our platform is as high as it, it can be. Mm-hmm. Like, this is really dope what we're doing. We're giving back. Like, I remember, right. you know, I don't want to blow people up because I don't know, but I, I remember me just interviewing certain people and they calling me like, yo, I'm getting shows again. Mm, like I'm yeah. like like that was my that was my mm-hmm. that was like what mm-hmm. like word to be able like, to get yo, back is it, like that, niggas is back ways like yeah. just from being on this show and then right. they, they could get to go back outside yeah and it's like that's that's my reward that, that, you know what I'm saying that, that feels so good like all right somebody comes on my expert opinion mm-hmm. for the next two weeks their phone is ringing mm-hmm. right. and they'll call me and be like yo I didn't know I'm like mm-hmm. yo. Mm-hmm. I feel like we're doing what we're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. But getting get back to the styles, Sorry. I, I just met him like five times and he never looked me in my face. Oh, wow. And for me, that's the thing. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like yeah. somebody dapping you and they looking in the other direction. Like, yo, what, what, what's up with it? Yo, hold on, homie. Right. You know what I mean? But, right. you know, it's just weird. We got to fix you and styles. Nah, nah, nah. We, we don't got no issues. We spoke yeah, already. Okay, okay. We spoke already. But um, I spoke to styles, I spoke to Sheik. And uh, I offered for Sheik to come on the platform. I, I can see that. And, and and talk about it. We'll see what happens in the future. But, yeah, that was just real unfortunate. I feel like the bond that they had and how they felt towards Jay Hood, right. it kinda, I got caught in the mix of it. Because with these interviews, when we're sitting here, we're getting people's life stories. We're getting intimate you gotta moments. Also, you gotta also you realize, feel connected right. to that you, person. You, you, you know what I mean? You, you, moment, you're an right. artist, too. Right. And at one point, you was beefing with Sirius Jones. Like, at that point... When it, things got real, anybody that, that would have stood next beef. to Sirius Jones, you wouldn't have. I wasn't B. It wasn't B. It wasn't B. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? We saw something on, a, on live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we had a nice little party out here at KBO. <laughs> okay. You know, it was cool. Yeah, cool. But, uh, now. Well, now. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's locked up right now, so mm. I don't know. Yeah, but um, you know how that is sometimes. Right. I can see, because you know why I, I, the difference between that with Jay hood to me mm-hmm. is when they were going through their turmoil, it was personal, very, very personal things that was said. Right. And I'm th- I'm guessing, I, I I don't know. I'm guessing after you cross a certain line, that it's, it's unfixable. So, and I think the locks is so honorable that they 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 are getting mad at anybody standing next to them because they just like you. You should believe me. Mm. Look, look how look 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 how trustworthy I am. Right. And but out of all of them, you would expect Sheik was gonna have that re- reaction. But but you look at Styles and where he's at in life, you know, with all the health food stuff, and yeah. the, there's a lot of there's a lot of care. Yeah, you know what I mean. And, and he, I felt like he he felt like he needed to stand up for his brother. Right. So he went live. He said some things. I went live. I kind of put it out there, like, yo, I don't have control over what these people are saying. 
No. I wasn't there. I don't know. No, I can't have, be like, that's a lot. You have control over the edit. That's, the, that's what that's, they blame. Yeah, but but don't, don't and, and you know what? Low key, I take shit out. No, but if we, I feel uh, like it's going to be a big uh, problem, and I can't stand I it. Take shit out. I hate that. I hate that. Well, I take shit out. Leave it I, up. <laughs> no, because sometimes somebody gets saucy and be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We was going to slap him with the hammer. I'll be like, ah, nah. Bro, take that out. Hate that. Take that out. We, we that. ain't putting that out. Oh, we got hate those. That. Yeah. Hate that. You know what I'm saying? We hate got that. those. Like, hate that. People be yeah. seeing me and trying to like be war report Nori. I'm like, I am nowhere near that nigga no more, my dude. I'm sorry. Right, but 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 mm -hmm. you know, certain shit like that, you got to be responsible and be like, all right, you was hit. You said that shit. That could lead to a big problem. Right. right. I'm not even gonna ask you about it. But you know what's fucked up about that sometimes, and we have to leave shit sometimes is because. What happens is if you throw it in the air, I'm gonna tell you something. If you throw it in the air and it doesn't get fixed or it doesn't, it's gonna keep repeating itself. For instance, Swiss flipped on Drake first on Drink Champs. Right. We edited it. We was like, you remember? Yeah. Right. And we filmed in New York. That was the one we filmed. Was, in yep. York. And you know, we we had Drake coming up. We thought we had Drake coming up. He <laughs> he see who y'all left. He told <laughs> us he was coming up. Right. He said he, he right. put. On the gram, drink champs he coming DM'd soon. Drink champs, yes, yeah. all that. So yeah. we were like, nah, we're not, we can't, we can't have that. And two months later, he goes on live with Busta Rhymes, and it's pretty much. But no, he he went he went bad with Busta Rhymes. He didn't go yeah. bad on us because we was controlling yeah. him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we was controlling yeah. with. And we was like, oh, wait, wait. And so he still said what he had to say, but we controlled it to a certain extent. But then when we edited it. It was like he threw it in the universe and it didn't get corrected. So that's the reason why I just like you could you could you could see Swiss and Buster talking and then they're not even talking about nothing. And Swiss goes, he's a boxy boy. He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, out of nowhere. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna get his plane. He's like, wait a minute, Swiss. And I I I remember it. It was like, damn, it's kind of like my fault because I edited in it. Excuse me, I edited it. You know what I'm trying to say. Right. You know, I'm mean, And he felt like he didn't get that off, so he And I felt it. like he felt like he didn't get it no, off. Right. And because like if you if you go back and look at that. So stuff, so what do you do? Cause you 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 thought Drake was coming on the show. Yes. That's not so the reason why we edit that part. That's not the reason. No, it what, was. What was the reason? I don't, I don't I mean I don't quite remember, but I don't it think was. that was the reason. And, I, I, and I, you Swiss, took it out for a reason. Swiss asked us to take it out. That's the reason. And, okay, yeah, that's the reason. No, but that was the initial reason. I was like, yes, we're taking it out. Right, you were obliged because you thought. what did he Say he turned exactly. right back around and said something. Anyway. And he said, yeah, he, he said worse. He said, the, he, he said, said worse. He said, worse. Buster. He said, way worse that time. Yep. Wow. That's the, listen, journalism is different. You error on the side of your conscience. I understand if you don't want to get somebody hemmed up. In the shop, when we doing our one, two. And by the way, I'm learning on the job. I'm being so honest. I got you on that. I'm, I'm, I'm learning, learning on and the all, job. And all, all, all the journalists, shout out to everybody well, that, we're pretty, that I rock with. Pretty, we all, pretty uh, good. Yeah, 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 we we sit back and watch and we see the mistakes that are being made. It's it's not a problem to err on the side of your conscience because right. real things happen. Right. You know what I'm saying? Somebody say something, it reverberates. There's families that get involved. Hip hop right. is in a very different place. People get shot way more often. People get killed. You have to rock, rock with your conscience. Mm -hmm. Lord knows if I was in charge and I could go back and take something out that Pac said that might have kept him alive, take right. something out that Biggie said that might have kept him. You know, on the mm -hmm. side of your conscience, you do that. Right. However... This is somebody's story. Mm -hmm. You don't have the right to put hands on somebody's story. Mm. And the consequences that come from that story, mm. that that's something that they need to be prepared to deal with. Mm. You And you can't take that away from them. It's not right. You can't really get in the middle of that. So mm. if, you, if he comes on here and this is his truth, when Styles started talking, when we when we were talking to Styles and he's upset that we didn't, we didn't come to him with the Jay Hood situation, bro, if you listen to that interview, Jay Hood didn't address Styles. He said, really, it was Sheik. Sheik was in charge of X, Y, and Z. Right. right These right. are questions for Sheik, not Styles. What I look like trying to make you answer for somebody right. else. Right, but he gave a, a million disclaimers also, like, understand the story is coming from 15, 16, 17-year-old me. Near, and, and damn near 20 years ago. But but most of the times, and, and, and to correct me if I'm wrong. I'm listening. I don't know if y'all go through this too. People will call you up beefing about a clip. But they didn't even yeah, fucking no, no, watch, watch the whole right. thing. No, no, no. Yeah. No, no, no. They yeah. didn't nah. even fucking yeah, yeah, watch yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, get that all well, that, yeah that's the world it, we live in, like, though. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, yo, bro. It's, it's, it is the world we live in. So right. somebody yeah. just ran to you and was like, yo, they did da-da-da-da, and you just picked up the phone and just called me yo, off the strength this? for that. One time, one time, 
we just had clips out, and I'm at the airport, and the guy's telling me he saw the episode. And I'm like, you didn't see the episode. episode right. And he's like, yeah, I saw it. And he's just breaking down clips after clip after clip. <laughs> and I'm just looking at this guy, and I'm like, yo, you didn't, didn't see, see this that. episode. Right. It's not out. Right. And uh, yeah, uh, that, that, that's, 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 yeah, that's... I had, I had a guy get mad at me and say that I need to stop talking over the guest. And it was super obvious that what he watched was the couple of minutes before we actually start filming, we have like these wild arguments and just wild mm-hmm. debates and yeah. we keep them. Right. Mm-hmm. He saw that. He saw a barbershop argument and thought that, yo, you be talking over the guests all the time, why don't you shut right. the fuck up? Uh, you don't know <laughs> shit. You be thinking you're the smartest person in the room. Right. Meanwhile, we four separate conversations going on. Once shit. we got started, all right, we back. They called me cut off. Like, <laughs> like Mr. Okay. Cut Off, we a cut off king. I, you, but you get that we're victims of you know people short attention you know where the lines get blurry and what you're saying about not editing for example for us here the drinking aspect there's a point where we never used to edit at all never but, but we learned our lessons we learned some lessons down yeah. the road yeah. <laughs> and you, yeah. you figure I, I, you, you want to learn these lessons yeah let me just I, I, actually and, I want to take this time out to apologize to Missy Missy I'm I'm sorry I love your music I, I, what you I did love to Missy what did you do to Missy last time I was here oh, what? I said something about Missy with, towards the end of the episode of course everybody did hit. you apologize later say because you was hit. drunk on drink champs nah because that's, that's what happened like, that's, that's they what always blame us they say oh they had me drinking I'm like nigga we were drinking together exactly we all got hit we all got hit but I don't I don't even know how we got on the subject, mm. but somehow that came out. You need to get that off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, give him a fill your cup up, by the way. But that's that. I feel like we have a responsibility on, I don't, I don't see when drinking, we're bro. sitting here drinking okay. for four hours mm-hmm. and someone starts talking a little crazy. Mm-hmm. I think we do have a responsibility to that person. Okay, so right. if because we're here to protect the guests, we're here to we're here to celebrate the guests. We're not here for them yeah. to fuck themselves up. Right. But you, you also but every now and then you also you gotta let MC Shan go crazy. Yeah, right, right, right. What, what can you what you hey, also nah, can't shout to the wrong like, Go ahead, Shane. Absolutely. You think what I'm saying? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, Listen, so hold on back up. Shane, we Shane got so bad. He walked over there. I have, we've been filming here for seven years. I never even knew that really existed. He was, on, he was on top of something. I was like, what the fuck? Smoking a... Great. Yo, he was... Yo, yeah. Big, big up to MC Shan. No, yeah. I understand where you're coming from with that. I interviewed somebody before. Uh-huh. I'm not going... Oh. Yeah. Okay, hey, you good. You good? Okay, I'm yeah. good. I interviewed somebody before. And Shout out to like, YKTV. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So I interviewed this dude. He's talking. He's giving these great background stories. Like a fake legend in the game, too. Right. And he says something about one super popular rapper. Mm. And I said, bro. Who was it? I don't believe that. Mm. Who was it? Huh? Who was it? <laughs> Who was it, man? Who was the rapper you talked about? Yeah. Oh, you talked about 50. He talked oh, about 50. He said something about 50. And I was like... That's not going in this magazine, bro. Uh-huh. Is it because you didn't That's believe not happening. it? Or because... Oh, it, we was, all was didn't true? believe it. We all didn't believe it. And... What'd he say? Nah. Did you tell him? What'd he say? Yeah, please. Yo, these trick champs, nigga, we need a moment, nigga. Nah, nah, nah. Y'all can say it. Hold on a second. Nah, nah, nah. Hold on a second. Nah, but he said some, some wild shit. And, and, and the same thing with me. Like, I, it was... Uh, it's trial and error with me. Right. You feel me? Like, coming home from prison and getting right into it. Right. It's trial and error, so... We sitting there listening, and I'm like, yo, I'm asking people I'm with, yo, what you think about it? They're like, nah, I don't believe that. Yeah. Did that you nigga challenge ain't gonna let it? that shit happen. Like, um, yeah, I'll cut. I, I, I say, yo, let's, wait, time no, out. No, 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 not time out. Did you challenge him and say, I don't believe that because X, Y, Z, A, B, and C? Yeah. Did yeah, that I told him that. I said, because the history of this man, how I know this man, I know the people surrounding him. Mm-hmm. At that time, nah. Yeah. That didn't happen, bro. He must have said some crazy shit. Some wild happened, shit. What he said? Yeah. 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 Wild shit, bro. <laughs> My point is you off camera. My point is you don't edit it. My point is you don't edit it. Nah, nah. I I wouldn't. You have the same responsibility to that person that yo. If I go in a bar, drink my ass off, hop behind the wheel, and kill somebody, is the bartender in trouble? No. Yeah, kinda. No. Yeah. Indirectly responsible. Hold on, I got a challenge. If you get drunk at a hotel, if you get drunk at a hotel and you leave that hotel, your family can sue them. I didn't say drunk. Okay. I said he drinks his ass off. Okay. okay. I was super specific. I okay. never said drunk. Okay. Because you bad. don't need to be drunk to get in an accident and That's fucking true. hurt somebody. You're right. You're right. Man, I never got, said got technical man. on us. All right. No, but I'm, I'm, hold on. Wait, wait. Time out. Time out. Hold on. No, I don't. 
<laughs> Wait, Mecca. So I, you've written you written stuff where people said crazy shit and you let it go. And I've had the answer for it. You never. You had the answer for it. Mm-hmm. You never let Bruh, it fly. Right. Yeah, you went to school for journalism. <laughs> Say it again. Did you go to school for journalism? No, I I, I learned I learned from the masters. I, I, said, I, I said, feel like real true. Like purist journalists, mm-hmm. they feel the way you feel. Right. Of course. We don't. We're not journalists. Yeah. yeah. Legit right. journalists. Fucking young game up. So we don't. We don't come with <laughs> journalistic integrity and morals that or, you gotta go. Which you gotta is, put with what's told to you. Which is why I'm not right. judging. You know what I'm saying? Right. Which is why I'm here. Which is why I don't. I'm not shitting on you. I, right. I call. I no, no, right, say what's up. Right, right. It's no judgment right. in anything I'm saying. I'm, right. I'm telling you what my stance is and why. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? And I take into account the fact that you guys, mm-hmm. us, mm-hmm. have a different level of responsibility now because of the platform, because mm. there's alcohol involved, because mm. it's so quick and it, it goes right to the people. Right. People are going to talk reckless and there are people who want to do something for clickbait. So you got to right. take that in mind. He could be right. blatantly lying. Right. You dig what I'm saying? So I understand all of the above. With that said, I think about editing in terms of who it's going to offend. And in my mind, I got an OG who always takes me back to when Emmett Till was killed, his mother let them shoot his body the way it was. Yeah, you got way too deep, brother. It's gonna offend yeah. somebody, but that's the truth. You this don't drink edit taps, the truth. Man. <laughs> Come on, you. I'm not drinking. Okay, <laughs> where, where are you trying to go, my brother? Nah, nah, I mean, nah, I get I what you're saying, but I do think that that's way deeper than what yeah. we're talking. You know, but to, but some, to, who? Offend, to who? Wouldn't it, wouldn't, wouldn't it be easier if you just didn't have to think about shit like that? And just let Absolutely. it fly. Yeah. This is my thing. No, hold on. This is my thing. Here's the difference. I'll tell y'all right now. We come from different backgrounds from Mecca. All right. That's the thing. Mecca is a professional in journalism and what he does. <laughs> but let me, but let, let me. Where I come from right. is totally different. So me walking outside, knowing that things are going on the street, me, ha- me having one foot in, one foot out. All right. When I do certain things, I know, I listen, Nah. We can't right. do that. That's right. why I said operate. So it's, 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 it's two I'm different things. Something. He's a professional journalist. It's like bro. a trained soldier. I'm gonna tell you, and a dude in the streets, right? right. right. With a gun. It's exactly. two different types of mentality. Like, but they exactly. both could that's have the same damage. Right. That's why I said you, operate from your conscience. I'm gonna tell you why. Right. Like we kind of know better, and I know better because I have one of the only Fifty Cent interviews without a Ja Rule word being spoke. One of the only Fifty Cent interview without Irv Gotti. And let's flip it back. I have also one of the only Ja Rule, Irv Gotti interviews without 50 Cent being mentioned. Mm. Mm. Well, I, I, I avoided it on purpose. So I right. knew that I got I got that intelligence. You know what, what I'm saying? Because what, I got a relationship with both. I'm the only edited? dude no, that no, was cool with 50 and Ja in the, in, the, in, the, in, in the beginning, in the middle, and still now. So you, so you had that conversation with, before they... No, I had that conversation eat. with myself. Yeah. Mm. And I said, hey, was, I, ain't <laughs> asking, I ain't asking. They beef ain't funny to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I'm going to ask exactly. about funny beef. I'm not going to ask about shit that led to other shit that, nah. So I just avoided mm-hmm. it, period. And I swear to God, I always, that's something I take pride in. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And even, that's the part we edited it. Uh, Irv Gotti got a little lit and he, he called. The y'all or something, man. We were like, uh uh-uh, uh, that going. <laughs> <laughs> that going. Yup. Yeah. And we, we avoided yeah. it, you know what I mean? Because cause because at times, you're right, we shouldn't edit nothing, but then at times we have some type of responsibility if you know where it's gonna end up later. And operate the relationships your, you got with the people. And the relationships, yeah. Operate from your conscience. That's all I ever say. Yeah, well, yeah. Right. From your so I agree with that. Right. When I was when I was interviewing rappers. <laughs> Day in, day out. God damn it. My very first thing I would tell them, I am not your fan. I am not, I am not a fan. Mm-hmm. You would not tell them that as soon as they walk in the room? That's first, first, first I'm going to walk out. Nah, I don't believe you, man. I'm going to walk out. I'm going to walk out. I'm going to walk out. You're a good guy. First thing, first thing. I told it to you. You damn. I told it to you. Damn, I don't remember. Jesus. Like, bro. That would have been dope. You would have sat down right here and said, I'm not your fan. You have to know what I'm doing. First thing I say, yo, I'm from Queens. I fuck with CNN. All right. Lit yeah, nigga yeah, shit yeah. in this space, I right. am not your fan. Yeah, I'm, I'm here to get the story. Yes. Oh, okay. I see where you were coming from. Yes. Yes. Right. Don't think that I'm going to paint you in rose colored glasses. You weren't meaning literally that you were not their fan. You're just saying this moment. Yeah, this moment. It's a moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that yeah, fan yeah. shit is outside. Yeah, so, right, yeah. Right. so, so if you say something crazy, I'm going to challenge you. As soon as we get outside, I might take a picture because you, bro, this is my guy. Fuck CNN. I got that. I know what you're saying. However, I got you. Ooh, they don't pay me to be a fan. But that's what's crazy. That's what's crazy. That's what started this. We were fans. 
Mm-hmm. We, like, if you notice, when we first started this, well, I, I, I did no research. No, we didn't do any research. I didn't do we no did it purely research. Off what we know because I'm like, what the fuck am I asking Fat Joe? What, what can I Google about him? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck? Like, I know this nigga's moms. I know his fucking his wife. I know right. his, everything. What the? Because it starts up with the guys close to you. Then when I started to realize, I said, you know what? Google is your friend, and I, I would Google certain shit like like like, and I would research people mm-hmm. like, and that's becoming like fun to me now. Like I, my research when I researched Turk. Oh my god. I was yeah. like, yo, this, yeah. this is going to be a great yeah. interview. Yeah. Y'all interviewed Turk? You, you, no, not yo. I, I Yeah, you got to have Turk. Oh, listen to me, yo. He yeah. is a yeah. movie. No, he's, yeah, and, 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 I saw a couple things. Great. And let me just tell you something. We edited nothing of him. Even when he's talked crazy, because he said this everywhere else. Right. So I, I didn't feel obligated. That's, that's the good thing about researching people. See, like I said before, I wouldn't do that. So if I research you, and you already said, yeah, man, I was, I was going to... Um, Trip Royce to 5'9". Not, not to say anybody said that, but just making an example. Right. First rap that came to my mind. You got a trip Royce to 5'9". I'm like, damn, I got a relationship with Royce to 5'9". Maybe I should take that out. But then I'm looking. You said that everywhere. Mm-hmm. Right. It's just a platform ain't big enough no, for, for, for them this to be story. Heard, right. like, I kid you not. There's been times artists have sat right there and said the same oh, exact shit. story. Didn't and not. I was like, oh, my God. You said this on Vlad TV. <laughs> you said this on such and such. Right. Right. But for some reason, they yeah. say it here and the and shit then, goes viral. Because they said right. it to you. Because you know, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're not, you're not cool with Juvenile like that? Yeah, I'm cool with, with Juvenile. Well. Actually, that's, that was my own, that, that was my first cash money relationship was through Juvenile. I'm the one that came to Hot 97, you, you, you could pull it up, I don't know if you can, but I was on Hot 97 and said, huh, 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 and everybody kept saying, what are you Insane. singing, Nori? Right. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I don't know, because I called, I, called, I called him Jovi. I said, this dude Jovi from the New Orleans, <laughs> he hard, he hard. And then months yeah. after Jay got on, on, on the remix. remix. Well, well, yeah. well, the record actually hit, Yeah. because a lot of people don't know, you know, I'm half Latino, a lot of people don't know, there's a whole Latino fucking... In New Orleans, there's yeah. a whole little fuck. It's crazy because yeah. it's like they they look they look like Chicos from Miami. They like they got fronts, and then they're like, "What's up, what are You like my nigga? Yeah. Aren't you from Dade County? What yeah. you doing here? What are you doing here? Right. And like, and so it's swear to God. Right. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, dead awesome. serious. So I used to be in New Orleans so much. It's crazy because David Banner always bigs me up, and you know he always Shout says out to David Banner. He always yeah, yeah. says because what happened was. David Banner was filming a video, and, and like, this is the time I fucking had a show in Mississippi. I was hearing this shit. Mm-hmm. So when David Banner came to me, he was unknown. He was like, yo, the penalty won't give me nothing for my, my, my budget. I told them, take my video budget out and gave it to him. Mm-hmm. For Crooked Letters, right? For Crooked Letters. Mm-hmm. I keep saying David Banner. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I should have said Crooked Letters. I'm so sorry. David Banner, he blew up on his own. Right. My bad, but Crooked Letters. And I would do things like that. Like, if a lot of people don't know, like, Pharrell's from the South, technically. Virginia. Virginia. Virginia yeah. Like, not technically, he's from the South. Yeah, okay, my bad. So, what you say? Hold on. Because I need to know. Because I don't, you know. Yeah, y- y'all think it's a slip in my interview. I, I no, respect it. Listen, I'm a fan. Bro. Yeah, just love, love, love. No freaky, no freaky. Yeah, I'm not a fan. So, But afterwards, you take a picture. Right. 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 You, um, were you responsible for featuring Pharrell? I mean, you know that, sir. At, yeah. at, at, from the very beginning. I mean, it's documented. Yeah. I mean, so, if Pharrell was so working before that. Yeah, he, he was working. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of the first, one of the first things he said to me, and this is the reason why I believed him, because he the was... The Neptunes, to be exact. Neptunes, yes. Right. He was a genius. I, I know it's so cliche to say it now, because he's like, he's rich, he's the top. Like, but, yeah, but I knew it then. Mm. He said to me, no one listens to me. That was one of the first things I wanted to do. Because I wanted to, I like to be petty. I like to, right, no one listen. Let me listen then. Mm-hmm. And he said, first person to li- listen to me is going to go number one. Mm. And I was like, all right. And this is a little guy. I'm talking about, I'm, I, have to, I got the number one record in New York City. And I know y'all all fronting on New York City right now. Mm. <laughs> nah, I ain't fronting on New York. Nah, bro. you know, you heard the background. And yeah, yeah. I heard the little chuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But at one point, when you had the number one record in New York City, that shit meant the world. Right. Number one record on Angie yeah. Martinez. Funk Flex. Meant the oh, world. Oh, that top seven to seven, and top, whatever that shit is called. Top eight to eight. Before eight eight. you guys eight had eight. it online. Before yeah. Power 105 yeah. existed. Yeah. You monopolized right. the industry right. at that time. I had the number one <laughs> record on all four, on all but four was that 
from listening. In RE, no, 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 it was not from listening. It was from being. Stop me. Let me get to the point. And, <laughs> and here's the crazy shit. What a lot of people don't know. Yeah. I said this story many a times. Fuck it. Let me say it for 2023. If you listen to Super Thug real, real good, at the end I go N O R E Nori the remix. Super was Thug it? was a fucking remix. That's wild. What record? What? For N O R E the the record. N O R E. For N O R E. If you, it's yeah. still there somewhere at the end. If you listen, it go because the album was done, and it's. Pause. This cocky young producer this, with this Filipino guy, and they look at me <laughs> and they say, "You're not closing your album." Mm. And I, I don't number one. Like I said, I'm number one. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm. But it's how they talk. It's how they delivered it. It was humble, but it was cocky. Yeah. It was delivered like confident. You, you can. That's the word I was looking for. Mm. You can't close your album. Right. You need this. Mm. And they were right. Shout out to Pharrell. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, crazy. Fire. I was Did listening you? to N.O.R.E. album on, on the way here. Sorry, sorry. You know, but, um, and it was crazy. I was speaking to my man JP, Eric, and um, Diego, and I was pointing out to them how many times Nas was on N.O.R.E. You know, Nas was on N.O.R.E. album five times. Five times. Like, I don't even think at that time AZ yeah. had two records with Nas. But, I love my life. That's him on the hook. We replaced like, him with Carl Thomas. That's him. He wrote yeah. that. He wrote that. He, wrote that. he wow. still gets published into this day. Probably I seen this the other day. I was like, damn, this thing is still rocking. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's rich. The fuck is he still taking this publishing for? I'm like, I said, hey, I said did he take it? Let it go. They, 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 this, this account pick up in it. Right. Yeah, it picked yeah, up. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm trying to. I'm in the process of buying that album. But um, it was crazy. He's on. He's on the story. He's Body on. Trunk. He's on Body yeah, in the Trunk. He's on. I love my life. My shit. He's on. And he's on two other joints, just, just, just talking in the background. And then you was on the firm too. Oh uh, yeah, that, yeah, that's firm. Yeah. I, I can't lie. Yeah, you. I one was, of the hottest records on the firm. Y'all had the hottest record. Yeah, you can, yeah. you can say you it. Know, it's it's okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm, yeah. I'm done being humble. Oh, I had man. the hottest oh, record. Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Single handed, I was telling them the story uh, uh, um, earlier. That record single handedly saved my life. It saved your life. Which one? I'm leaving. How so? Ooh. I was dead. I didn't. Uh, me and Trash started beefing after the War Report came out, and I literally had no manager, had no A and R. I had. I didn't know what to do. Wow. Mm. It set your solo career off. You know. Yes. So what happened is. Right. That's crazy. What happened is, yeah. you know, after Capone went to jail, it's kind of like crazy. Cause nature gave me some backstory on that too. What nature oh. was the man? Let me just say something. No, but at the time he wasn't. Nah, that's false. He said they flew you out. Yeah, they did flew me out. Yeah. To get him <laughs> on his jail. Oh, okay, oh, oh, that's true. Cause I was. Yeah, you, he said you let your verses. Well, like, I, I, my nigga, I had my shit wrote before I got there. Yeah, my nigga, crazy. like, <laughs> like first off, let me, let me let me get deep. I'm not trying to make this shit about me because it's about y'all. But right. this is history. This is right. part of history. Nah, it's not right. not the guy that's on the show. This is the, this guy, right? Mm. The reason why. So this is what happened. Nas called me. Was like, yo. I gotta make up for missing the war report. Because remember, Nas was on the war report music, make these stuff, and he ain't yeah. clear. Yeah. I was like, damn, that shit cut us deep. Yeah. Because it was on the mixtapes. Yeah, yeah. 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 we get nothing from that. We get nothing from that. So he wanted to make up. So he was like, yo, let me make it up to you. Let me, um, I'm gonna fly you out to Miami. So I was like, oh, shit, the only other time I've been in Miami is with this fucking guy and, D- and DJ Khaled of all people, right? How ironic, right? right. <laughs> the two people that brought me to Miami. How right. ironic. This, this, I'm not making this shit up, by the right, way. Right. So I never went back to Miami. I couldn't afford it. I just, I ain't have it. I'm just being honest. Right. Sh- 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 facts. You laughing? Damn. Niggas <laughs> <laughs> on my staff. <laughs> 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 it's true though, it's true, it's true. So, Nas never called, the week they go to Miami, they never called me. And whatever was Instagram back then, I had to like see their damn with the pictures. I was like, oh, sad as fuck. Right. They called me like a month later. So they're like, yo, we're gonna work. I go in, true story. 
fly straight. I remember I told my friends this today. I won't even stay at this place. It was this Universal Sheraton. I won't even drink, have a drink at the bar right now. Look, look who, look how far I've came, huh? This is far, <laughs> yeah, far of a person I am. I'll keep it in the hundred. Yeah. So then. I love the Universal Sheraton. I was like, oh, I'm balling. <laughs> I guess I guess I guess to the studio. <laughs> nature. I was supposed to go to the studio on Wednesday. Right. They, they fly me out on that Tuesday for right. nature session. Yeah. So I'm on my shit. Mm -hmm. I'm like, and a guy named Dr. Dre walks in the room, mm. kicks the engineer out, and says, You got something for this, Nori? And I said, Nori, Dr. Dre engineered that. If you listen to my whole career, that is the cleanest record I've ever been on. Now go back and listen to that. Any other record, you're going to hear me. You're going to hear, uh, you're going to hear none of that, that shit. shit. That, that motherfucker had that shit speaky clean. clean. I, and I nailed it so ill that he made me do it three or four more times. He said, because no one nails it for me. And I said, all right, cool. <laughs> and, I, I, I was, yeah. and they... By the way, by the way, I was I wasn't even supposed to be on the firm. It was right. supposed to be a record, and then they just pushed it to the firm. And the reason why Nature's on ban from TV is because Nature could have hated it. My session was the next day. Right. My session was Wednesday. I showed there Tuesday to yeah. try to support him. Right. And my thirsty ass, when Dr. Dre said, You got something for this? I said, For sure. Yeah, well, let's get it. <laughs> yes, I do. He was even told me he was talking to Nature. He's like, You got to work. I said, Right. I wrote that already. <laughs> Fucking first I'm 12 seconds that shit played. I was like, Nori know this, yo, and Nori know that, no, and Nori. And it was ironic about it. That's why me and Trash caught beef, was because that was on the War Report album. That verse. That whole song. That's not the beat. The whole song. That's crazy, I, bro. This is, this is, I'm sorry, I'm reminiscing too much right now. Listen. <laughs> yo, this is dope. I walk in this, I go to the studio, Trash and Capone's out with these chicks. Right. I'm in the studio. I, I don't got time for chicks. I lay this whole shit. I'm leaving, but it was on. Doom to doom to doom. Doom to doom to doom. Don't let it go to your head no. now. Yeah. So picture, no, we know this. And that's why I'm faster. leaving yeah. on the next lane. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, it goes yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. And I played it. And then, and then I played it for Capone. And Capone was like, yeah, it's, it's dope. <laughs> and then Trash. <laughs> and then Trash walked in with two bitches. He was like, I was like, yo, you, you fuck with this? He said, this is horrible. <laughs> he said, when we sample, we sample like Havoc. We don't sample like Puff Daddy and we don't have a right? It's wow. crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Jeez, Life is you, you have no idea. Listen, edit. No, 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 edit. no, no, edit. no, 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 no. You have no idea that. how that shit hurt me. He was like, we don't sample like Puff. We sample like Havoc. And I was just like, oh, shit. So for me to go to Dr. Dre and Dr. Dre's like, this is it. Mm. You, you don't understand how good that shit felt. <laughs> <laughs> so did you go back to trash like, you don't know what you fucking no, talk about, nigga. the world Dr. did. Dr. Dre. He got to hear it on 97. He got to hear it. He got to hear it. Yeah, the world did. The world I never had to say you remember you being wrong. I never had to. I, I got to and, and he told me years later, he was like, I should have listened to you. <laughs> so I was wow. like, hey. Man. But he was mad at the so, record, at the sample in the record. No, the sample, no. It, 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 it was it was fruity. It was like. But that record was big for, for Brand Nubian. <laughs> for Brand Nubian. And that's that was so a big crazy. Brand Nubian record. Fucking yeah. Brand Nubian took it years later. And I was, I definitely called him that day. He's like, I know, I already know why you called call me. me. I told you, like, everyone knows I'm petty. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, he's like, I already know. That was you. a dope sample. It was a dope, yeah. dope shout sample. To, shout out to Trash. Yeah. I just did yeah. something for his album. Oh, really? That's, yeah. that's, that's my brother. We trying right. to do our, our overseas for our EFN's birthday. Um, Don't blame my birthday. Yeah, we blame <laughs> your birthday. And Eddie Giggs. I got, uh, um, we, so tomorrow we're going to get on the phone with the promoter. Uh, so we're going to do Drink Champs Europe. Um, and, you know, ended in Paris. You know, I love my wife. She loves Paris. So, oh, so, wow. Yeah, so we're going to do it. Yeah, like I'm that. hitting Paris in February. Oh, really? Yeah. What y'all doing in Paris? Oh, you and your lady? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Look at you. Oh, one, two. Oh, one, two, three. Oh. <laughs> nah, nah, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't I gonna love lie that to woman. you. She yeah. gets on my goddamn nerves. How about you, Sean? You, you got a lady, Sean? Yeah, I'm married. You married? Oh, yeah. okay. That's what I'm talking about. Listen, being married is gangster. 
That's the new game. Mecca looked away. <laughs> Mega said he a virgin still. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Mega said he's still a virgin. I can make no, going no, through Mecca never said that. You going through a break? Nah, he said that on the show. He said it on the show. Right. See how he just said he's you trying not to acknowledge it. You going through a breakup? No. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where y'all niggas come up with this shit, but I'm not looking. I ain't gonna lie. You look like you just a nigga that goes through breakups all the time. Have like just buy new bees and shit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh god! You did fucking bitch. This is why but the bees is dying. Got bees. No. No. This is two second conversation. I turned back out and made up some whole shit. Yeah, hey man, I, 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 I knew we was gonna have fun today. Gonna I, 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 he looked like he, he looked like he going through. Wait, wait what? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. No, it's because you got three different haircuts. You got a ponytail. <laughs> I'll fade. <laughs> <laughs> Make up your mind, guy. Yeah, yeah we confused. You fucking confused. Oh my god. I'm fucking with y'all. Nah, nah, nah. I'm, I'm, used, I'm used to the hair. I'm used to the hair. Yo, once you see the side shave, you know it ain't got nothing to do with yeah, Selassie. Nah, nah. He holding on. Selassie ain't a part of that. Nah, 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 nah. He holding on. He can come out the hat whenever he's ready. <laughs> Shining is the right. All right, Everybody. so being that you're the only one drinking, I feel sorry for you because um, you got to drink. drink you gotta big hold time. It. Oh, no, you're drinking too. That's right. So we're doing shots. What do you prefer? Oh, Biggie, you're not drinking? Come on, come on, my dude. Nah, nah, nah. Real talk, though. When Bigger drink didn't, on the show, didn't, 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 uh, aren't he you the one that flip on Tony Ayo? Yeah, that was, that was, I, I, <laughs> no. I'm flipped on Tony Ayo, right? Nah, nah. I'm going to keep it real. Okay. When Bigger drink on the show, Gets a little dangerous. Oh no, we don't want no danger. Where yeah. you from, bigger? Harlem. Harlem, okay. New okay. York, though. Okay, uh, yeah. all in New York. Yeah. I respect. Yeah. It. But he was a Harlem nigga hanging with Brooklyn niggas mm. in the in the early Sounds 80s and 90s, me. right? Queens right. too. That's right. Let's make the noise for that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> so, what, what shot you gonna take? It's up to you, my brother. No, no, it's up to you. Mama bro. Juana, we want, we want you to drink wants. what you want to drink, cause we don't want you to blame you it on me. Man? I'm drinking ace. No, 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 shots, shots, shots. Yeah, you know, shots. No so shots, we gotta do shots. Yeah. All right, well, that then you got any? Yeah, because it's, it's a game. It's called Time and Slime. No, I, you, I, even, I never even heard of that. Uh, Acids, uh, and you you could pick both and be politically correct. That's when you take a right, shot. What you got? What's options? Um, we got whatever you, got you want. We got Delion. By the way, one of the finest tequilas on the planet. Don't go with that. Yes, yes, yes. Go get Delion. Nah, I'm telling you, get that report money though. So Get yeah, that remote money, bro. Shot. Yeah, yep. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, but I'm being honest. Yeah. As long as you own it, still, it's, it's worth it. Just own it. That's that's all. What you talking about now? I'm saying, I'm telling them get that revolt about money. A potential re revolt situation. Yeah, get that revolt money. I they talked to you bad. about it too. They ain't bad. Listen, we I had that conversation. We ain't mad. We ain't mad. Yeah. They ain't bad. I'm telling you, nah, they, man. They've been bars. great partners. They've been great partners, bro. Wait, what, is, what are you pausing for? No, I said bars. I didn't say pause. Oh, oh yeah. Dude, pause. get that fixed. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, right, right now, they're young. Uh, I'm going to do um, Ciroc, though. Or should I do Japanese whiskey? Japanese whiskey. Right here. I feel right, bad for asking, but can I get another bottle of water? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah this is this is it. Right? By the way, Mecca, this is you, the game that you got me with the Missy thing. <laughs> You better be aware of it, nigga. This is the game. You better be aware of it, nigga. No edits. Okay. No edits. I'm going to have Mecca answer half of my questions. <laughs> yeah, but you got to still drink anyway. Yeah, I'm just going to Okay. Score them. Ooh. Yeah. I got, All right, I so you got to remember the rules. You, 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 you a mama wana? It, bro. You doing mama wana? Okay. You yeah. try it. I don't know Listen. if you're going to like it. You know what I'm talking about? Mama wana. Mama wana. You know they make that in the tub in Kindle. Uh. I told him to make a commercial. <laughs> I drink gin water, I just bro. Playing, I just playing. I just playing. He said I drink gin water. I just say that. I just say that to fuck with him. I was just waiting right, for so you, you to ready? say jail. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. You ready? Ready? Man. You ain't got to take them big shots like that. You ain't got to do it yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. He's a big shot. Nah, pace yourself. That's what happens to everybody, man. They start off like that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't got to do it like that. We, we, You can pour yourself. You family. Okay, all right, cool, cool, cool. All right, got you. Thank you. Big L or big punt? Get mm. my shot ready. That's a good one. You, you explain the rules? You, oh, I did I? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you did. Nah, did, okay. did I yeah. mean, didn't you? Uh, yeah. You, can't, you say both, you got to say both. Right, right. Drink. The politically correct answer. If you say drink. both, you got to drink? Yeah. Both, drink. Both or neither. Or either, yeah. Both. 
Oh, you damn nigga, you gotta wait for us. We drink oh, with damn. you. Oh, you drink with oh, us? <laughs> yeah, 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 I drink yeah. too. Yeah, we drink too. Salud. Rest in peace to both of them. Yeah. Mm. Legends. Absolutely. Okay. Oof. Ah. Ooh. Not bad, right? KRS One uh, or Rock Kim? Yeah. Rock Kim. You too? Like a dungeon dragon. Ah, I'm gonna go rock him too. Terrorist swarm. Mm. Of course. Rock him. Then I got a drink. No, nah, man. I think that's, that's okay. That's right, a crazy yeah. Yeah, yeah, we made yeah, this yeah, up. Yeah, we made that part up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on the fly shit. Yeah, yeah. My bad. My bad. I did try to teach y'all. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been forgetting. People can see. They can see you, Nari. All right. Ooh. Ooh good one. Yeah. Murder Mook or Loaded Lux? <laughs> Math motherfucking <laughs> house. You got a drink for that. We 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 got a drink for that. Let them niggas know. Good answer. Math motherfucking house. That was hard. That was hard. <laughs> Dale, chico. All right, dale. Salud. Dale, dale. Salud. 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 <laughs> ah, tigre, coño. <laughs> that shit tastes like it got lemon in it. Yeah, eventually this. All right. Okay, you got the next one, E? Let me see where we at. All right. Wu Tang or NWA? Mm. Wu Tang. Yeah, that should be easy for New, New York. Yeah, Wu. Yeah, Wu. Yeah. 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 We, we, we love California. Just want to put that oh, out there. The we love California. Mountain. All right, cool. You got the next one? Kanye or Andre 3000? Kanye. Kanye. Yeah, bro. Up to the mic. Three stacks. You're not oh, drinking, man. Three stacks. <laughs> you, you're just making us drink, man. You're not drinking, bro. Like, come on, man. You, you got to just go with what we say, man. No, no, he good now. You don't have to drink. Uh, okay, cool. I didn't tell you to play this oh, game. Drink. All right, cool. <laughs> it's everybody on the individual merit. I didn't All tell right. you to play. You got it? Three yeah, stacks I, over Okay, you can go. Yeah, man. Fuck yeah. right. Oh, no, I got this one. No, I'm going to skip this one to go to him. Go ahead, go ahead. The Source or XXL? YKTV Magazine. We <laughs> <laughs> just drink to that. Let's drink to that. I want to hear the answer. answer. Keep it real, ha. Huh? Mm. The Source. The Source? The Source. Now, what Source? The Benzino Source or the Londell? <laughs> the Londell mm. McNellan Source. Definitely mm. the Benzino Source. Oh, that's what's up. Mm. Benzino, 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 Benzino like the Benzino like the Shout out to Dave and Benzino. Yes. Yeah, well, shout, shout out to Dave Beach Benz. Me too. <laughs> yeah. I, I heard that too. Yeah. Okay. DMX or Tupac? Shit. DMX. I'm going to go ahead and get my shot. DMX. Mm. I can just hear Flex calling me now. Because you're going to call Tupac? <laughs> yeah, take this shot. Well, you, by saying that, you're saying Tupac. Yeah. Come on, quick. All right, relax, buddy. Relax. <laughs> yeah, you're not rolling up, brother. What's They've going? been drinking. Oh, okay. uh, He's been drinking all day. Pop. Pop? Yeah, pop. Pop? pop. Pop. DMX. I knew, I knew you, you, you New York. Both y'all said DMX. DMX, right? yeah. right. Pop. Rest in peace. All right, I'm going to just take a shot for that. Rest in peace to both of them. Yeah, let's take a shot for that. I'm going to take a shot for that. Salud. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to jump over a couple, though. So. <laughs> Joe Buttons, a million dollars worth of game. <laughs> <laughs> My expert opinion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wasn't ready. I was like, it's not good. <laughs> right. I wasn't ready. That's a good answer. I like that. I like that too. Shout out to Gilly. Shout out to Wallow. Shout out to Joe. Shout out to everybody in the space, man. Yes. Right. There's room for everybody to win. Yes. yes. Rest you know in peace, what? Combat Jack. Yes. Rest, 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 rest in peace, Combat Jack. I said that. Yeah. I said that. Yeah. Yeah. I said that. Um, rest in peace, Combat Jack. Um, you know what? Let's take this to all podcasters because. Who would have thought that people are hardly even listening to radio? Like, we kind of, the, 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 some of the people that wouldn't refuse to play my music, I refuse to interview them. <laughs> Fuck them. Petty Gang Mafia in full of I got the juice now, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 
I've been going crazy today, right? I'm not humble at all. I gotta calm down. Hey, and while we saying rest in peace, rest in peace, Gangsta Boo as well, man. Rest in peace, Gangsta Boo. You know what's crazy, man? I really, I can't believe that. Really, it's crazy because you know we don't want to be the last person to interview anybody, but when she passed away, when um. Takeoff passed away. People just kept going to our interview, mm-hmm. and it was just like, damn, it was an honor, and, I, and it was crazy. This is why you should never listen to directly to the internet or directly to the, the rhetoric that's, ha- that's happening. The week before, they critiqued us and said, "Drink chances for legends." Migos ain't legends, and then, then you know, uh, unfortunate his demise. Right. That week, the next week after that, they was like. I'm so glad you got to give him your flowers. And it's just like, damn, if I would have listened, right. I wouldn't even interviewed him because y'all said they, they're not legends. Right. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy. So you just got to, what did you say? Go with your, your opinion unconsciously. Conscious. Follow your conscience. No. Yeah, you also got to consider the source. The people who were talking. That was a double entendre? Right. Sure. Source. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure, take it with you. Farce. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. You got to consider the source. Not everybody who's talking mm-hmm. has but, a resume to talk. You know, Tony Ayo says something on the show. Shout out to Yayo. By the way, great episode, Tony Yayo and Uncle Murder. Yeah. That was oh, an argument. He went at, he, he went that was at classic. I but, liked it. But he said, once I realized that I couldn't make everybody happy, I felt liberated. Mm. Mm. And it's real. Because you'll get all different types of opinions. Mm. You just got to be comfortable with, okay, you going to be mad? All right. I can live with that. Right. You know what I mean? And what gonna, happened with Smith happy? and Weston? Smith and Weston? Yeah. That was Sean. Well, you again? <laughs> that was you again. What happened? What'd you say? You said um, the day was down with Pac and them. No, they was offended and misunderstood something. I was telling them how we felt, guys, me and your age. Yes. You know, maybe not you personally, yeah. but a lot of my peers at that time, when that song dropped, we. What song? Hit them um, up. Hit em up. Okay. We were affected in New York. Uh huh. Right. Um, we were hurt, you know, and. Um, I know people spin the narrative that he was talking about, you know, Biggie directly, but me and my peers and the guys in the street, we didn't hear it like that. We right. heard loud and clear, it felt like you're coming directly at New York. Right. So, to my Tupac. Yeah. yeah. Right. With those guys, I asked them in the future when y'all ended up like at his house recording the albums, we kind of, you know, respectfully, Looked at you guys as traitors, right? And that 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 set it off. Set, I ain't gonna lie, it it but that was his seventeen-year-old <laughs> mindset, but, though. But yeah, I ain't gonna lie. When Bigger said it, I was like, "Oh, this is a good one." No, let's I, see what I, happens. I, I ain't gonna lie. That, that, that your memory is so mm-hmm. so sharp because I do remember, and and and, and both of those brothers, those are my mm-hmm. brothers. I, I mine too, yeah. yeah. And they legends, um, yeah, yeah. Mine too, I, yeah. I, I, much do, respect to them. I do much respect, love. I do remember. Me being mad at them for a week or two. Yeah. I remember. I remember that. And Buckshot. I believe yeah. Buckshot. I, and yeah. I remember. Let's go even deeper. I remember being mad at, mad at Red and Meth. I, I, mm. I, I, yeah, yeah, I remember yeah, being mad at Red and Meth. My mom made, 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 made up. I'm yeah, sorry. I I, those confused, my, yeah, also, my brothers got both of their about, no, yeah. phone numbers. They didn't even know, though. But I didn't know that they didn't know. You didn't know that, yeah. You understand what I'm trying to say? Right. So I yeah. felt exactly like that. I, yeah. I felt like I seen. I remember me seeing Redman and Branson and just being like, <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> I, I, he had his legs. I jumped in my legs and yeah. we just walked. That was the first. And I love Redman. It's the first yeah. time. And then the Method Man got on the radio and I guess like it was, it was spreading. It, it was yeah. spreading like, yo, man, you know, because because that's the one thing. That we needed at that time. Mm-hmm. You know, I made LA LA. Mm-hmm. I know. I yeah, made we, LA we LA. And, and here's the crazy shit. And I said it on your show. I don't yeah. know if you remember. Yes. I said it on your show. I saw the clip the other day. Someone sent it to me. Right. But I remember making LA LA and bringing it to Big. And Big saying, nah. Mm. Do we're not going to use this. Wow. Right. And, and like he told me to my face. And I was just like, and at the time I was too young to understand that he understood who he was. Right. Mm. I didn't know that. And he was like, what they accusing me of, I didn't do that. Mm. So I ain't going to address it. And at the time, I was like, they what? just talked about your wife, my nigga. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. And they didn't use right. it. It was for a bad boy mixtape. Remember, remember when labels was doing mixtapes? Mixtape. Stretch yeah. Armstrong yeah. did it. We went, he, oh, those bad wow. boy mixtapes were legends. Fact. Yeah. Uh, and, who opted them? Uh, and they didn't did use it. Speak on that, yeah. Yeah. And that's speaking on that yeah. time. Right. Like, 
if you guys at that time didn't make that song, right. it was like that was, you know what I'm saying? Thank and y'all you. wasn't even dissing, but just yeah. to make that song. You know what's crazy? So much. Let me address that. Let me address that. Nobody in New York was was saying saying nothing. Let me address that. Here's what happened. Listen, listen, here's what happened. Here's what happened, um, Sean. Um, Listen, a friend of mine was on something called a, a DJ list. So yeah. remember the yeah, DJ list no, they I'm would give this before I was the happiest DJ this before when I got the DJ list. Right. So he had the record two months prior to it dropping. So what we did was we went to Stretch Armstrong crib and we was like, are they dissing us? And we understand, yo, B, yo, God. We knew that was yeah. So that's what, if you Definitely. listen, we were going back and we was like, we was, we was, we was saying whatever the fuck they were saying, whatever we said. Mm-hmm. So we didn't do this. talking about the Dog Pound record now. Let's yes, the Dog Pound. So for people yeah. listening, they, because we saying hit them oh, up, and okay. we got to okay. clear yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, All right, yeah. my bad. You're right. Yeah, right. Thank you. So, do- um, so they did New York, New York. New York, New York. New York. Right. Yeah. We did LA, LA in response. So we purposely <laughs> didn't. <laughs> I'm going to say the story. So we purposely didn't say anything about LA on per- but Prodigy did. Yeah. If you remember, he, did, he went straight. The verse that they took off. They took it off. He said, "JFK on my way to LA," and he mm. later used that verse on "Live Nigga Rap" with, with Nas. Yeah. But that verse was originally on "LA LA." Yeah. Wow. And then was was crazy. Was fucked up about that. Prodigy said he did not want to be on the record. He did not want to be involved. And the and day that we filmed "LA LA" video, hit him up came out, and he wanted to be involved, sir. He changed it. He changed his mind that night. That nigga sent a cease and desist three o'clock and was in the video by nine. <laughs> Word up the same day. He, I, I respect that. I respect that. Like he, mm. rest in peace. Yo, rest in peace, prodigy. Man. Rest in peace, prodigy. My favorite part is still when y'all y'all threw the um the body off the. See, we had to do. We, we had no budget, by the way. <laughs> that was the worst looking. Budget. <laughs> we had no budget. We had no budget. Ironing board. It was a stiff body. It's been dead for a while. Ironing board. Now I think about it. <laughs> for remembering that. That'll let you know he a foul nigga. <laughs> you remember it look like an irony boy? I love Damn. it though. I love I, I it. To, you know I wasn't in that scene. Because it was broad daylight. <laughs> I wasn't in that scene. Broad in daylight, bro, they on the bridge dumping a body looking around. There's mad cars driving by these niggas. And we I'm had like, no oh, budget, man. Come on. <laughs> Zero budget. I mean, I mean, I be looking at I be looking at that video every now and then. I be like, thank God. <laughs> I can see the hunger in my face. Right. You can smell the food stamps right. on me there. Right there. You can smell it. You can smell it. Oh my God. Uh, okay. Oh, we still yeah. on quick time. I'm sorry. Mr. Lee is trying to kick us out. Yeah, he is. All right. <laughs> Bismarcky or ODB? ODB. Bismarcky or ODB? That's a tough one. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Huh? That's a tough one. That is a tough one. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie. You yeah. Cause they almost come to the same club. I said they, 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 ODB had one of the illest personalities. I say, that's why we got to protect our, our our legends. Prior to him going to jail, it's probably the best personality we ever had in hip hop. If you see how he came home, I'm sorry to make it about the ODB, but if you see how he came home, that wasn't the same person. Oh, definitely. Mm-hmm. Like it wasn't the same yeah, person. Wasn't. Like jail fucks, it fucks up, fucks people up, man. Is it, is it is it jail? I don't know. I think I think I think I think being a rapper is way. I think we all need therapy. Yeah, that's a fact. I think we all need to sit down. Maybe it's not therapy. We all need to sit down and to realize that we ain't each other's enemy. Like we, like we aren't enemies of each other. And we have to start taking care of each other because it's shit like that that shouldn't happen. Like when I seen yeah. ODB when he came back, and and God bless, because Rockefeller was trying to do the right thing. Right. It's just that. They yeah. shouldn't have been involved, in my opinion. They should have let ODB should, be ODB. They should have let ODB. And what happened is it made ODB kind of take a choice between family and money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's a bad choice. Choice, always. It's a bad choice. Like, and I'm um, going to tell everybody, always yeah. pick family. Yes. Absolutely. Always yeah. pick family. Yeah. The, money, the money will come. Yes. But maybe he's picking family by picking the money. Money, exactly. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. you don't know. And what everything those we're saying are. is from the outside looking in. We really don't know what's going. Yeah, on. Yeah, we really don't right. know. But big them up, man. Um, I got a chance to meet 
uh, ODB, and I want to play Bismarcky in the movie. Remember they was uh, doing the, the the Juice movie. Yeah, I went to um to to play Bismarck. Oh, that's crazy. The Juice Crew. Wow. I still juice crew. I, I still juice would, would want to play Bismarck. That's, mm. that, was, that was my that'll fit you. That was That'll my first you. rapper who made me laugh. Like picking yeah. boogers. Well, I was like, yeah, picking <laughs> boogers. Did Ew. he just say he picked a booger and <laughs> put it on a basketball yeah. and then passed it? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, he's, he's a genius. Yeah. He made being a joker cool. And then it's crazy. Yeah. He made it cool. I mean, I'm fucking dinner on my with Daddy King. Waiting for my bowels to move. Yeah. Look at Bismarck is a sucker, but he's no. He could be funny. Yeah. Right. This is, I'm in dinner with Daddy Kane the other night. He's and like, if you yeah, met him in person, you know he wrote. I was like, what? Right, right. Yo, Kane. Yeah. Kane, I was like, I was so mad I didn't know Kane wrote Pig and Boogers. But then and the vapors the was a, The vapors. Wow. The vapors. Oh, By the so, way, yeah, the vapors was to this record. day, something will happen. You'll be like, they go to vapors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To this day. Oh, yeah. Depending yeah. on what yeah. circle you in. Like, right, out of right. Five. Oh, there's yes. a lot of people catching the vapors now. Oh, God, yeah. You got it. Let's run through this real quick. Okay. Kiss or fat? Relax, Mr. Lee. <laughs> Mecca. What are you doing? <laughs> he, he's, he's trying to secure his relationship. I love how you feel like there's no video camera. <laughs> no. That's why we can see you, you man. He think we just an audio podcast. No, just, 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 just go to the other, like, bro, other we camera can view. See you. <laughs> you go. You uh, go. Uh, kiss, right? The the verse is kind of. I kiss. knew you was gonna say that. Kiss. I don't think the verses prove it. You know that. Yeah. You know. Tell that I would, kiss. Yeah. I, I would, just think Fab picked the yeah, wrong records. Yeah, I would say yeah. He picked the wrong records. I yeah. would say Fab. Really? Yeah. Wow. Overall. Overall. As an for, artist. Uh, yeah, as okay. an artist of a body of music. If I'm driving, I'm going to throw something in to listen mm. to a, a three hour drive. I'm going I'm to definitely choose Fab. That's mm. like, it's out of doubt. Well, I'm going to say Kiss because Kiss is more personable. Mm. Kiss will sit down and talk to you. And tell you, you know, how to sell a crack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I got I got a lot of a lot of like things I've done that was the sound oh, with Jadakiss was the soundtrack to the shit that Fine. I did. Right. So I might be kiss. biased. I've never know. interviewed Fab, but I've interviewed Jadakiss a couple Damn. times. Damn. I might you be biased. Fab don't really do it. You need to take a shot for that. Might be a little biased. Might you gotta take a shot for your man. You, you gotta take a shot. <laughs> Just for that. Yeah, that's your okay for my head. <laughs> you take a shot? Oh, you ain't say nothing. You yeah. said me either. No, he ain't say nothing. Yo, yeah, but yeah. It, it's 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 crazy because I feel yeah. like I thought 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 I mean we drink it with you so take a shot anyway. Right, I said I'm gonna say both. Okay, right. take a shot. Yeah. Take a shot. Yeah, yeah, we we understand. Take a shot. <laughs> Let me take a shot of this <laughs> fine Darion yeah. versus Versace. Darion, Darion, Darion's a whole other dick. Yeah. That's a whole other dick. Yeah. Hey, that's a whole other dick. Yeah. And I, and we are cool with Darion as well. He's, he's, hey, stop! Well, you ain't gotta go that crazy. No, you don't yeah, gotta do that. Man, you ain't gotta do that. Hurt yourself with that, man. Come on, come on. Man, you're a professional. Facts. These questions. So are like we the, and we know Dennis, that's too much. Dennis, the answers. Yes. Every every question. Super. That shit got lemon in there. Raise it then. <laughs> All right, this okay. is a good one. You ready? Yeah, you go. You take it. Dre or Puff? Dr. Dre. You said Dre or Puff? Dre or Puff. Dre. I got to go Puff. Yeah. Sorry. Mm. I got to go Puff. As a producer? As your future Life After Death that? being my <laughs> favorite album <laughs> of all time. Okay. Right. I agree with that. Uh, I know people would, oh, The Chronic, The Chronic, The Chronic. Life After Death was a masterpiece from beginning I mean, the chronic, to the end. Chronic is not just the chronic, the chronic, Ooh. it's the chronic. No, no, it, it is. And, right. the, and the sequence. Right. Ooh, but a this is a CD. good debate right Hold here. On. A double oh, CD right. Yeah. that you can play from start to finish. No, nah, that's, that's true. No, that's true. When was the last time they, we did that? They, there was you know no what? I forgot the about that, that yo. Yeah. I forgot nah. about that. No songs of the nah. chronic. And, and look, look, if we're going to get technical, that he produced, Dre produced, but then I guess you could go you into the same, the, the same thing with the hitman. It's in the question. The same thing with the hitman. This person or that person. Yeah. Right. That Puff and the so, hitman. So on the verses. You what go, you can say about Drake because Drake Puff had, had, against Dre also had people. Had it, yeah, but I'm saying it's, like, it's that's what I'm crazy. saying both. Right. It's going to be crazy. I'm but just saying I, it's a tough one for you to just, answer that quickly. But just off the strength that Life After Death is my favorite album yeah, of is. all right. time, I got to give it to Puff. Okay. I got to. How about you, Mecca? I'm a soul brother. I don't know. 
I don't know. Their resumes, I mean, because I you start giving Dre credit for the NWA work. If you yeah. put the tree of Dre? Yeah. But, and the tree of Puff is L too, but the tree Did of Dre. Did they ever make an album that was better than Life After Death? No, but Doggy Style I is mean, not a game. No? Doggy Style is not a man. game. No, you no, gotta life, go with Mr. Love. Life After Death is. It's a Life After Death is a double album. I'm trying to think and of it's a double a album that's Dre. Yo. But it's for life, death, bro. And bro, did, didn't Pac have a double album? That's not all Dre. And it just it wasn't didn't all hit the same. Thank you. Right. How many? Thank you. And then there's like the Kendrick work and the game work. Nah. 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 There's the Eminem work. Love it. Love it. Yeah, I'm going to step back. I'm going to step back. I want you guys to. But Life After Death, bro. Wait wow, is you on Dre? It's a Puffy fucking movie. I'm not saying anything. Puffy I'm stepping back. Uh, you on some Mad Hot shit? <laughs> no, that shit yeah. is I'm a, some it's drink a champ. movie, yeah, yeah. bro. It's a oh, movie. Oh shit! Wait a minute. That How album is a movie. Both drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got no. How about you? How about you, John? Definitely puff. Definitely puff. All right, I need to hear explanation. Because you gotta, we can't ignore Mace. You know what I'm saying? Mace is the superstar of the game, right? You know, but that. But let me let me stop you for one second. Doesn't Mace only have one album? Isn't him and like Lauren Hill the same? Nah, he got. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. My bad. My bad, Mace. Yeah, but niggas don't really. Niggas don't really. I mean, if we going album for album, the trees. I don't know, man. That Drake tree is crazy. It's a little nuts, right? Niggas don't really fuck with the double up. With the double up, the Mace second album. But the original joint and No Way Out, Harlem Harlem World. You gotta count No Way Out. We can start early, Doc. Mm. Easy E, cool. NWA, NWA. You gotta cool. go heavy. Then you gotta go heavy D. Then the Chronic, uh, heavy Dope. D. Yeah, you gotta go heavy Fire. D. But I'm talking about uh, as an uh, artist involved. No, you talking about as an A and R at that point. That's no, different. No, a producer. No, no, he's talking about as an A and R. He wasn't. I'm gonna tell you how he is. I'm a producer. He wasn't producing. Get your favorite weed. He was A and R. Get your favorite weed. Smoke, roll that shit up. Smoke it. Listen to Life After Death. The whole shit is no, nobody's fucking debating you. Movie, but life bro. after death. By the way, no one's debating you. Not one soul on, here. Yeah, we're talking about <laughs> yeah. that big album. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we know that. If none of those so albums are better than that, you give 100 credit to Puff for Big's album. I'm not, I'm not giving 100 percent credit. That's what we're talking about here. But if yeah. he was involved in the in the album that I feel yeah. like was the greatest he album ever, that. Yeah, he did. Yeah, of course, it. and that's that's you your criteria, it. right? Yeah. Right. Rick Ross. You know what I'm saying? The list goes on. Yeah. But then there's then there's the Kendrick work. Rick Ross that's that's the cool, bro. Yeah. That's cool. And so as far as see, that's, that's the problem with this question is that there's too many other nuances, right? Yeah. Well, that's Dr. why Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre, Dre is more question. relevant as far as how many people worked there, how many albums that sold all crazy, how many records he actually produced with his fingers, right? Right, right, right. Puff is a great orchestrator. He knows the talent. He knows how to find it, put it in the right setting, and make magic. Right. That's what Puff does, right? But... It's too many factors, but I'm going to say Puff. If you're going to put yeah, the A&R yes, part yes, of it, yes, Andre Harrell part of it, yes, Uptown yeah, part of it, you have to. You have to. Yeah, maybe. You got a long history. Maybe. Because then you start taking into account Dr. Dre's influence over the entire West Coast. Well, I'm not talking started, about influence because Puff has that influence as well. Yeah, but... Yeah, I, could, I could argue then, both but then, sides. That's, but that's my whole point. It starts to even out once we start... With the, the wider you cast the net, they both have a lot of fish to catch. Right. And who you start asking about... X, Y, Z, A, B, and C, it gets... Then maybe the question we should be asking, who today are the children of them specifically? That's a long that, yeah, list. That's a whole that list. are relevant that's right now. Like that's a whole other show. That's active list. right now. Who, uh, who's, you know what? The what children. artists right now are active right now that are directly under the umbrella of them? That are mm. relevant right so, now. So you, so uh, no, I, no, I, no, no, I would say, even forget 50 say, Cent. But you got to understand. 50 so, Cent? Partly well, Dre's then, credit... Has to go to easy. No, but come on. No, 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 no. That's a reach. No, 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 no. How is that a reach? What do you mean? Without without Dre, there is no easy. There is no easy. Without easy, E, there's no Dre. That's not true. No, no, that's not true. Without Andre Harrell, there's no puff. That's this gonna be my easiest episode ever. But Andre Harrell isn't in the conversation. But easy's not in the conversation either. You're the worst. You're the worst. Rest in peace, easy, and rest in peace, Andre Harrell as well. Are we moving on? I'm just gonna keep going. Class record. I got this y'all talk all day. I'm gonna say world class wrecking crew. Yeah, oh man, we could go even for the back. We could wear sequins okay. out. What's your favorite podcast? <laughs> Who? What's your favorite My podcast? My expert opinion. 
stamp, niggas. <laughs> stamp. We stamped in these Take shits. Take a shot for that. Take a shot for that. Fuck. Take a shot for that. What are we doing? <laughs> Who are we kidding? <laughs> we you know, know why we're here. Shout out to Easy Mo B. Oh, yeah, absolutely. For all the work on both Absol sides. Both That's sides crazy. On both He's probably the only producer. We need him on Drink Champs working with both yeah. of them. Yeah. For the pink. Not only he worked with both of them, they kept working during the beef. Yeah, because Me Against the World is my favorite Pac album. Shout yeah, out to Easy Mo Against the World, Mo baby. Well, Shout out to Easy Mo B. I drank my head. Lose. You just drank, drank it already? already? I drank it already. We don't believe you, man. Oh, man. I we don't believe don't you. Listen, I don't know, man. That was kill you. No, listen. Trust me. They got me. The fans will kill you. Take your shot. Take your shot. Trust me. Trust me. You saw it. Who saw it? You saw it. We ain't see it. It doesn't count. It's a regular occurrence. Us four here at the game, you ain't see it. Come on. And we celebrate you today. We celebrate you and your team. You and your team. I, 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 and by really, the way, you know the top is a shot, too. I really thought you were setting me up. No, I was setting you up. What you yeah, mean? Yeah, I thought Puff was going to run out here with a contract. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, hold on, hold on. That's, that's, that's at the end. That's at the end. That's at the end. Take that, take oh, that. Oh, Champ take just went to the bathroom. Take that, take that. He went to the bathroom trying to avoid his shot. We got, got, got something for his ass. We going to wait. <laughs> but we do, we do got to say something. Uh -huh. Y'all had a podcast waiting for a podcast today? Y'all were late Yeah, y'all were late. I can't believe it. As a podcast? By the way, let me just tell you something. It's a retrograde. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It's a retrograde. The first podcast we had, Mav, he showed up early. He had sweatsuits. He was... He helped the team set up the mic. He was helping the team set up the mic. You know he gets the money right now, boy. He missed the right. That's a rich nigga shit. He said, I missed my flight. I said, oh, that's a rich nigga shit. I'm a, I'm a, I got the helicopter oh, yeah, now. Yeah, 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 nah. Nah, uh, but yo, damn, I wish, I wish Champ was here. And I'm going to well, take this shot it, for him. Right. Nah, I'm really, really proud of you guys. Nah, man. Um, The reason why is the show kept its its realness. Hmm. It switched a little bit, but it kept its the, the, the main Authenticity. integrity. Authenticity. It kept the main integrity. Yeah, and I like the fact that y'all arguing now. I like the fact that <laughs> no, because it makes for great. It makes for yeah. great. You gotta realize. Shit. You gotta realize. Yo, Big and Champ got into oh, it last episode. Yeah. That ain't uh, not here yet, bro. Hold on, my hold on, this is my oh, hold on. Yeah. Right here. Take, 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 I take, 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 take your shot. Yeah. Take your shot. That was my big take, you got your oh, shot. Yeah. Got your shot. You got point one? four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is for y'all. Let me just tell y'all something. Look, um, you pour your shot, and I'm gonna give y'all a great speech because. <laughs> I, and I'm gonna give y'all a great speech. Yeah, because I know how hard it is to survive. To be, you know, podcasting is like being in Costco's, right? You can everyone can have their product in Costco's, but if you got your shit behind the deers, the deer the meat, deer? <laughs> yeah, I love it. You need you need to have your shit where the the ugly lady says, "Welcome to Costco's," right? And your shit is shit, right, right there, there in front. Bottom, right. You know the ugly lady that smoked too much yeah, cigarettes. Right, right. She's <laughs> Would she you like smoked nine hundred cigarettes. She's nine hundred, uh, and she's, she's like, "Yo, nah, you know, nah. she's like, she's like, she's like, welcome." Costco lady taking a straight for no reason. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, that's what she's doing a job right now. Like, yeah, fuck. but you know, what I'm talking about the woman with the heart. Oh, we should edit that part out. No. <laughs> <laughs> the one, the lady that she looked like she smoked no, too much cigarettes. Just remember that when he goes yeah, to Costco. So, that's true. So what she I'm trying to tell y'all, slow it down. Yeah, we'll see. we have been the 100 percent independent podcast. We know how it feels. Mm. We know how it feels to go up against these others. We know how it feels to, to, to be recognized and not be recognized. Right. To be loved and then we know how we know mad. everything that y'all right. going through is crazy because whether it is direct or indirect, we've been through. And for me to see y'all growth, for me to see how this shit came together, for me to see how y'all keeping it tight, it's something I wanted to it's my idea. I called Map. I said, yo, I want y'all, I want the crew. Yeah. We had you, Dolo, we had you, um, but I want, I want, I want to give it to y'all. It's yeah. not, it's not. Sorry, it's not just about you. Right. Because right, I see, I see right. you. You know, but it's, it's about y'all. It's about y'all camaraderie. Uh, you know, I'm a little saucy. Camaraderie. Yeah, camaraderie. you know, you know that, you know that, man. You I know, got you. I, I'm, I'm yeah. normal. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't pronounce yeah. my own name. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> Salute. Right. But Salute. I want to salute y'all. Say respect. Salute. Um, continue to do your thing. For that one. Yes. Are yeah. oh, you gonna take it? We gonna take it? Okay. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Which one do you want to drink? My oh, no gold. Uh, oh, oh, right. You know, <laughs> he's like the contract. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real, because Salu, um, and 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 what's crazy is your personality, Salu. Cheers, respect. cheers, everybody. Thank you. Cheers. Respect. 
She had personalities. The fact I knew the the show was going to change for the better because of Mecca, right? And I'm, I want to give you your flowers direct because oh man, these are all street. Don't guys. cry, bro. Everyone but, else is like a street guy. I'm right. not saying you're not a street guy. We know you're nah, not a street guy. Yeah. But you know what I'm trying to say. He's comfortable. With that. And but I know you have an expert opinion. You actually are an expert. <laughs> are an expert. I think out of all of us here, I think you're probably the only expert. <laughs> like, and that should be saluted. That's yeah. it. Because I've always, you know, um, you know, prior to this, I've always done interviews and I've always been a fan of you and how you handled me. You know what I mean? How you treated me, whether it was, it was when I was coming up, whether when I was in the medium uh, era, or whether mm -hmm. I was. And how hard is that? Because you these relationships, how hard is it to maintain that here? It's not hard. No, it's not. I don't. I don't. Mecca care. just don't hang with us after after the show. <laughs> <I'm pretty laughs> that. That's how. He, that's oh, how. He, 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 yeah, he's like, I'm out. <laughs> Whatever y'all about to get into, <laughs> I ain't a part of it. Okay. <laughs> get home safe. Yeah, like, right, right, call right. me to get lost. Right. No, it's, it's not. It's not a difficult thing, man. I learned early on, the job is the job, mm -hmm. and it's not. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's mm -hmm. about the person who picks up the magazine and decides they want to know more about this person's life. Mm -hmm. My job is to paint that picture and make it as honest as possible and make it entertaining. Right. The reason why we have such a good thing going over here is because all of those factors come mm. into play. Mm. We make it entertaining. Right. He's going to say what he's going to say. It's yeah, going right. to be real. Even, even if it's wrong, right. he really means it. He's telling the truth. Nice. Right. His truth. It's right. Exactly. Right? And, cat. and how, can, how can you and ever cat. be mad at anybody who's telling it? Now, the consequences are going to come down, but I'm used right. to that. I've done that too. already. So oh, no, we weren't. Gonna... <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's 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 definitely a unique experience. It's the first time I've ever been a part of anything like this. Right. I'm happy to move off of print and 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 do this here with, but I'm make no mistake. I'm, I've I've been built for this a long time ago. Mm -hmm. This it's not as rugged as what people may think it is. Right. And I knew that. I remember when, when the podcast started. Right. Yelling at heat makers and shit. Like, yeah, facts. Yeah. I knew, and I knew that. I remember when, when the podcast, first time you came on the show, who? I was like, "Yeah." Oh, you was a guest on the show first. We got to keep it right first. Up. Yeah, no, oh, I, I didn't know that. I, no, I wasn't called to be a host. I was called to he. Somebody backed out. He's a homie. He called me. Yo, can you pull up? I, had, I, I know. Man, shout out to EO Dub, um, one of the longest oh, yes. running open mics in oh. New York City. And rest in peace. Rest in peace. Vice versus. Vice versus. Rest in peace. Uh, uh, Jay. Rest in peace. Um, there's so PH. many people. Yeah, yeah we, we, can go, we can go all down that tree. J Arch. I, Absolutely. So many. PH Punkerhead? Yeah. Yeah, rest in peace. Um, so I know Mecca from that environment. Mm. And I and another thing I want to say, yo, open mics need to come back. Yeah. We're, What's we're open missing, mics? Were you just rhyming? Yeah. Yeah. It, ain't where that you like, hone um, your craft. Ain't that... Um, that nigga Nori's such a legend, you don't even know what an open mic is. That's not <laughs> <crazy. laughs> <laughs> nah, what they doing right now. Karaoke. Yeah, no, no man. Karaoke. This ain't karaoke. 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 This ain't karaoke. It ain't it. Oh, like, I, like I, I know karaoke. guys like Mecca. It's probably closer to stand up open mics. If you could, you could relate it if closer you, to that. Eminem, you could relate it closer to that to someone shit. who doesn't understand. But, but that was that, it. that makes. But that, that was the space where you honed your craft. Right. Mm. Where you saw guys rocking that stage and you said, "What was the, um, the Jay Z, the, the Mayfield? Um, she's um, um, uh, the the lady. What was shorty shorty name? Twenty two twos. The intro. Oh oh oh. Uh, Fuck me. He just knows. Because, yeah, just because I'm... Pause, pause, pause. Yeah. No. Yeah, pause. That. And we still on quick time with slime. We forgot. Yeah. Oh, I can't remember her name. But that I can't, but I know, I know the... I know the go ahead. I know the yeah, yeah, yeah know that's the fucking me up. That I don't know that. He wants to look it up now. Yes. Oh, what was that woman's name? This is... She so, passed away. Yeah. Um, that was, That's where Hov and them used to uh, go. And we had something like that similar in Queens called the Q Club. I remember, I remember the Q, the Q club. club. Yeah, the Q Club, yeah. And, and got shot at at the Q Club. <laughs> yeah, you got shot at it? from Brooklyn. A lot of people yeah, got shot at at the Q Club. I shot at there. Maria Davis? Maria Davis. Yeah. Maria Davis. Maria Davis, rest in peace. Um, But yeah, EO Dub, end of the week, that was um the spot where... Every Sunday. I used to go through, wait on that line, mm. sign up, get on that list to get on that stage, whether it was freestyling or I was performing a song or whatever. And Mecca would be in the spot, and I did that for years, mm. for years, and that's where I know Mecca from. Mm. Um, the source stuff, I didn't, I wasn't really too familiar. 
Right. He wasn't a fan. When no, I he didn't. <laughs> yeah. Thank he you. wasn't <laughs> familiar <laughs> with that. Thank you. It's Zeno's fault for that. It's Zeno's fault. Really? It is Zeno's fault. When I decided not to diss Eminem, he took away the unsigned hype from me. Mm. Wow. So I was Zeno like, wow. been a petty nigga. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Shout out to Zeno though. I hope, I hope um I hope hope Dad is doing okay and all that shit. Yeah. But you? when Met came on the show, I was like, mm, okay, he's a historian. You know what? Let's spend a quick time with Slime and then I want to get to everything. Yeah, let's get yeah, to that. Um, Come on, let's get to that. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. He's a historian. No, no, we're going to get to why. We can't stop there. No, I want to get to why. I want to get to why. And that's history. I want to get to why. But I want to finish a quick time with Slime. But him being a historian and, and, and somebody who cares so much about the culture, I said, yo, nah, he he has to stay. No, he eats, that's breathes, that's and he has to stay. I don't think I've ever had a conversation with Mecca that doesn't involve hip hop. Right. I don't think of not ever. true. The yeah. day I introduced you to Bonshawn Chicken, we didn't talk oh, hip hop. Oh, damn. damn. You know Bonshawn Chicken legend. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. We didn't I'm talk lie. nothing about me. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That Bonshawn, I ain't gonna lie. That's, That's the, yo. Fire. I ain't Bro, gonna lie. Story ate itself into a coma that day. I can't even. I can't even tell you because this might sound crazy. Don't say it. Nah, I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna leave it alone? You gonna leave it alone? Um, okay. Scarface or Ice Cube? Scarface. Oh. Shit. Damn. Q. Yeah, he's going Q. Q. You said Q. You said. I said Scarface. I say Scarface. From the womb to the tomb, a hot pot of jar and spoon. Trying to make Scarface. me 40,000 and move. Fast. Scarface, bro. Fast. Today was a good day. I, it's nah, it's two and two, so it. technically I should make y'all drink, but it's okay. Mm. No, that's not the way it works. I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh. You stay trying to... That, that, that's, ah, hey, man. that's his job. Y'all came late. My night is already ruined. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, you got it? Oh, yeah. Yo on TV raps or Rap City? I love this one. Rap. Video music box. Woo! Oh. Video music, you drink to that. Rap music, Rap music, Rap music. And we need Ralph right, McDaniels right, on the He's champs. the father of that shit. One time. He's the father of that shit. Yo, by shit. the way, did you see... Queens get the money. Yo, yo did you know that did you Ralph see? McDaniels was only second to Oprah? I didn't wow. Know. I didn't know. The ratings? The ratings. He was only the second to Oprah. Running, so, so how does that not continue? Like, how does that... Not trans. Did you like, see the bro, video music box into something bigger for him? Ralph McDaniels is single handedly responsible for the spread of hip hop. Absolutely. Yeah. But Yo, how was that not able to go to another level? Because yeah, they, I, I watched, they wanted to reproduce. I, I, I wait, 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 wait. You can't be saying all that and you ain't watching yeah, the documentary. No, I, watched, I started watching it. No, though, it's, yeah. Yeah. Yo, it's, listen, it's so good. And what's what's so dope about it is you get to see Nas fan the fuck out. He's just like. Like it's like like he's just he's not Nas at all. He's just yeah. a fan, fan yeah. of like and he's breaking it down. He 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 remembered the intro. He's like, remember the intro? Like, 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 you like you like that in New York City. Come on, come on, come on, Sean. You, you, you gotta take a shot for that. You gotta take a shot for Ralph McDaniel. If you from New York City, give a shot to Ralph McDaniel. If you from New York City and you my age, you know. And you know what's crazy about it? It was the Disney afternoon. Until Batman came out, then Batman came out at four thirty, but right at five o'clock you went straight Channel to Channel Thirty One. Oh, I, in Queens it was three thirty. I thought. Nah, it was five o'clock. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Five five o'clock. No, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about, I was thinking about the box, but the box was on twenty four. The box was in Miami. Yeah. Daily All cartoons. Right. Hey, oh, man. Oh, they got yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, uh, we just shot at, sir. Yeah, you ain't getting no with that. Let's go. Yeah. Ralph and Dan's from Queens. Yeah. Queens get the money. And, and, and we need Uncle Ralph. Ralph. And, Ralph. Ralph. and we got to get him his flowers for sure. You Yo, ain't got to go crazy. Listen, yeah, first time I saw Ralph, I fanned Salud. out. Salud. Salud. Cheers, guys. And I was like, Uncle Ralph. And he looked at me. He was like, laugh. I said, oh, shit. You was hype. You was hype. You was hype. Oh, shit. You know what I mean? 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 Yo, he was you, like, yo, you, what do you understand? That's what it's all about. At the yeah. end of the day, that's what it's about. Oh, God damn, he getting that feels great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, this is a great one. I'm going straight to you, Mac. No, no, hold up. Sorry, I, I cut your story off. Finish your story. No, 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 no. He was like, man, if I, if I saw what you did with that Iron Solomon situation. That was masterful. I was like, oh. mm. that's a, <laughs> thank you, that sir. Was a dope stamp. You ever heard of Mook on ever battle? 
Mook would never battle me. He would never battle me, bro. Why? Should we finish Quick Time on because, Slime and come back to this? Yeah, right, let's, yeah, let's finish Quick Time on Slime and yeah, come back to this. Okay, no oh, where we at? Where we at? Going straight to you, Mecca. Eminem or Busta Rhymes? Bus. Bus. Math. He ain't been on the show yet, though. He has Eminem. <laughs> but you shouted us out. So, all right, Ooh. okay. That's a fact. I'm going to go M with this one. Whoa. Oh, he's I'm never coming on the show now. That's <laughs> 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 a fact. That's a fact. That's a tough one. You know, um, well, shout outs to both of them. That's a tough one. That's one of those epic ones. You say both, you got to drink. Well, um, oh, we got to drink. You're I would not, say, you're um, not drinking, you're not drinking. I would say Eminem. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You the top breaker right now. Wait, who is it again? Eminem Buster, or Buster? Buster. And Buster? Ah. Eminem. Wow. So three to one? It is. If I could vote, I'm voting Buster. You vote Buster. And it's actually easy to vote Buster Cause, cause because you can say without one, there's no other. But we know that's you're right. close with Buster. Yeah, that's right. I'm no, not going to lie, though. Hold on. Tell I'm not real quick. Yes. I'm not going to lie. That calm down record Smell on walk. extinction level event mm. um, two. Mm. No, Buster. Uh, bro, the joint with him and Mystical was, was retarded. That's mm. that's, that's. I true. never understood why that shit never got no radio play. That shit was retarded. Did you was. him and Eminem going real back world. and yeah. made the oh, radio yeah. either? Yeah. But yeah. but when it comes to M being that I'm a battle rapper. Mm. Yeah. M has to be on your show. Now let's move Bro. on. Let's move has on. Wait, wait, wait. He has to be. He has to. I, I, I mean, he has to M. Be, he's going to come here first and then go. <laughs> but he has to be on your show. <laughs> No, no, wherever you at. You don't have to drink, bro. You don't have to drink, bro. New York is, New York is closer than Detroit. Than Miami. Yeah, yeah, so we, we can make mocktails, bro. We good. Yeah. I, I literally man had this. Without the, without the, without literally, the man? I don't know. Yeah. I have this argument with Royce 5'9 all the time. We go back and forth. And I tell him, my guy will scrape your guy. So get your guy and let's figure it out. But For I, versus. On a versus. Yeah, we, we, we were actually the... the the, um, the only Kendrick. people that was talking about Eminem versus Bust. um, Buster for, for 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 the verses. That's hard. I think that would be incredible. I'm, that should be I'm, I'm, I'm so for so it. the world would stop. The I'm whole so world would stop. And they could stop. go that fucking fast spitting, go crazy. I'm so for it. The whole it. world would they stop. They got to go back and forth with no, that. But Buster's, the thing about it is M is a beast on stage, and he's a beast in <laughs> lyrics. And what, and Bus is not? Well, but Bus is in the Guinness World. Bus is the stage. He's in the Guinness. Can I finish? He's in the Guinness. Um, There's was. nothing like Buster was. on stage. Absolutely. When you say man. was, what, what happened? I think it's somebody faster. Twister, Twister. Somebody, somebody yeah, faster. Twister, Twister. 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 Twister's yeah. the fastest in the, in the world record. All right. Yeah. Um, Shout out to Twister. Move on. Or, or homie from Fushnikins, I think he might have. Chip. Chip Fu. Chip Fu. Shout out to Chip Fu. I'm going to go to you. Back and forth. Because I know you're going to. Let Brooklyn rule. And then I'm going to go to you because I know you're going to let Queens rule. <laughs> MOP or Mob D? Mm. It, it depends on what type of activity you're like trying to get me. into. That sounds like a shot. <laughs> it depends on what kind of activity. Oh my God. <laughs> what do you mean? <sighs> Just say both, man. No, you're we getting just, into both activities. You wrapped on a Havoc beat. How you going to do you this? Gonna take a shot, this is some crazy shit. Um... Cause the Brooklyn and you ain't gonna just let you just walk over yeah, here. You can't, I can't oh, bro. I Brooklyn's going. You, you're not gonna say MOP. Have it beat. It sounds like a shot to me. I'm just I, got a whole bunch of <laughs> I got a whole bunch it of them. I got a whole bunch of them. Sounds like a dilemma. Yeah. Sounds like both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know both. I'm in. I'm in. Don't even pick. Don't pick. I'm done. Right. Right. Mecca so and the all the killers in the hundred dollar billers. <laughs> it's a real niggas who ain't, ain't got, got no, no feelings. He's just picking mob deep. Yeah. Come on, now. I love both of them, but you can't compare MOP body of work to Mob D. Mob D is definitely. Wow. Better okay. Better That's true. Yeah. MOBB. Okay, MOBB. sounds like MOBB. MOBB. I can understand. I mean. All right, cool. But MOP, so come on. Fame, dog. I love you. We love yes. fame. The energy, the energy that MOP brought to the game. Oh, salute. Brown, that back and forth. Brownsville, the hill is really way, hurt. I see uh, fame. And um, Dan, um, at the BET Awards, man, you guys are looking good. You guys are, yeah, you yeah. know, famous in the gym every day. I want, I want, I want y'all to know that we want to give you our flowers. Please, please. Um, we're gonna go so hard this year because it's really about those legends that bring the wanna, match out posse right. over we here. Wanna, 
Yes. Right. I love you, Nori. Yeah, salute. 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 Yeah, yeah. Right. I love you, Nori. But they come. They coming to me first. No problem. I don't, I don't mind. I guess yeah. what? I'm gonna watch it too. Yeah. And I'm gonna. And we support it. And we'll, yeah. and we'll yeah. repost right. it. And it's I, okay. I, I do the same thing. Right. Yeah. I love um, you guys. Major or independent? Independent. Mecca. Major. Major? With the bees wow. on? Hmm? With the bees on? <laughs> this don't make no sense. I'm making some noise for you. <laughs> Come on, nigga. The fade. <laughs> I would go independent, but if you're dealing with the right major that you have a that you have your own ownership, yeah, right. exactly. Relationship right. with then a major, right? Okay, that's that's my, which is what I've always told. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I've yeah, always yeah. said. Right. Okay, I would champ. say the beauty of independence for the simple fact of when you look at different platforms that are independent, artist-wise, podcast-wise, my expert opinion being number one. Mm. Um, you don't really want nobody over you telling you what to do in any shape. Way, shape, or form. Right. Mm -hmm. You won't be able to couch, count your own dollars mm -hmm. to a certain extent. But that's not that's not so, really a problem. And control like you your key, and control your creativity. Uh, you know if, what? If you, you know what? If you, well, have, to, if you the have the right the major, perfect that's way not to put this is I don't think anyone should reach towards the major until you find out what you could do independently. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. That's put fine. the work in first. Mm -hmm. Right. You have to be great at being <clears throat> independent so you can take advantage of a major. Major, exactly. Right. So, so the I, major doesn't right. take Everybody advantage here of you. talking smart shit. <laughs> 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 you talking yeah. smart too, yeah. bro. Stop that bullshit, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 Like y'all passed seven yeah. 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 It's cool. It's my expert opinion. That was hard. I liked everyone's opinion. I did. I truly did. I enjoyed it. Okay. Last question. We <laughs> asked everybody. Quick time slot. It, and it, this has not been quick. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> not quick with time. Loyalty or respect? Loyalty. Because you can't have loyalty without respect. You can't. You can respect somebody and you can stab them in the back. Mm. That's how much you respect them. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, oh, this motherfucker, nah, he gonna tear me up. Mm. I'm gonna stab him in the back. You know what I mean? But when you got loyalty, that's everything. Mm. That's everything. Loyalty creates kingdoms. It creates countries. It creates movements. Respect, it's a part of loyalty. It falls under that umbrella. Mm. So I'm going back in loyalty. Soul, brother. Respect. <laughs> Because I've never been able to be loyal to anybody I didn't respect. <clears throat> Ever. I've mm -hmm. never been able to. If, if if I can't respect what you do, how you treat people, how you move, how you act, you can't be loyal to that. But doesn't that mean that to be loyal to someone, you have to respect them? No, to, to, I can't. I cannot be loyal to someone I don't but respect. But are there people you respect that you, you're not loyal to? I don't have any. I don't have any ties to them. Let me, let me, say, let me say it this way. First of all. Like, I'm, I respect Shorty's head. But I ain't one of those ones. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think you know that, that went sideways. I don't, I don't think you the quality of the box. box. I mean, I get I it. I get that, it. I actually get it. That is, quality of the box. That is but not I don't, what, that is not what not GPS said. I think it's a different kind of respect. But you, yeah, did, but you did what I'm saying. No, you, yeah, like, you like the head. You don't respect it. You like it. Nah, I respect you it. You like it. You might <laughs> even love it. However, again, I've never been able to show loyalty to somebody I didn't respect. If you're doing shit that I can't respect, if you're doing disrespectful shit or shit that I, that I don't see, if you're not an upstanding... You, just being a fuck boy and shit, I can't be loyal to that because I don't respect you. I don't respect what you do. If I see, okay, if I see no. you treat somebody close to you really, really fucked up, I'm like both. I'm gonna be loyal to that. All right. So, 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 so when a, a low, uh, 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 the flowers. Don't, don't uh, fuck this. Right. So, when, so when, <laughs> he was so, fucking the flowers. Both so when like. somebody who who's stepping into the podcast and they 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 really in a dirty section of YouTube, hey, right? Hey man, get your life hey, together. Oh, they're, <laughs> they're really in a dirty section of YouTube the and they start section. taking shots. The filthy shot. Filthy section. They want to get dirty, so they're gonna be like, "Yo, mech, yo, mech, mech is this, mech is that." You could respect it. But that don't mean that they no, can I get can. you lost. No, I can't. You popping shit from behind the screen. I don't respect <laughs> about that. What's what right, is cool. respectable about that? Yo, Mech is a martial destroyed. artist. Did you know that? He look like he gonna kick somebody. <laughs> Tonight, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try, try, some I'm trying to get this nigga to do a roundhouse or camera forever. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I know. I listen. 
Right. No, so he, I would, one uh, time. Just, that would be a win how about you? For your how about dojo. You? Right. I would, uh, loyalty or respect? Unless I follow I go, the I would go with respect. <laughs> respect? Yeah. And the reason why I go with respect, something slightly similar to what Mecca said, so, but a little different. I could be loyal to something that I don't respect. It right. could start out the same way, and they are very similar, but at some point, someone could be loyal to you that have lost respect for you. How? Oh. How can you be loyal because without loyal, respect? Loyal to the if, I'm not, you, if I don't respect you, I'm not, I don't have to be loyal to you. That's to eat that what, what, every, every what conforms you to stay loyal if you don't respect them? Because a lot of people, money, a lot of people are loyal to the opportunity and not the person. I see. So that's why I'm different. I don't give a fuck how much money you got. But, but you ask. I don't give a fuck what you give it to me. If I don't respect you, I don't respect you. Simple. And yeah. it, can you even describe that as loyalty, though? Sure, I don't sure. Think so. Oh, oh, yeah. hold on, hold nah. on. No, no, no. It's how you know shit is real. We've been in this business. My long. Apple we've Watch just hit me and said, you you're, you're loyal to sir. the opportunity. Listen, 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 listen. listen. Not, I missed, I missed the it whole don't have to be bad. as complicated as we make it. Yes. We Husband and wives yeah, get married yeah. every day. Right. That's the same exact thing. Somewhere right. on the line, your husband or your wife is going to watch you. Mm. And according to your ways, your characteristics and things that you show them, they could lose respect for you. Mm. But they are going to stay loyal to you because of who they are. So you're picking loyalty? No, it's no, respect. no. Why it's respect. respect. <laughs> he said, which one do so you want more? Respect. Right. It's respect. Bruh. Because someone who respects you. It's going to be, be loyal, loyal to you. I ain't going to lie. Here, it comes, lie. Here, someone here. who respects you is <coughs> going to be loyal to you. That's when it comes in the same. But someone who is loyal to you don't have to respect you. People mm. get up and go to a job every day that they're loyal to and be like, fuck this job. And True. don't respect the <laughs> job. But they are loyal to the job. <laughs> I want respect. Yes. Yes. I right, give it up. Yes, and we all. giving it to you yeah. right now. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen. I'm taking a shot. 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 I'm taking a Holy I'm, I'm, go. I'm going by <laughs> I'm going by the the, the yes. dictionary version, huh. right? The dictionary version of respect is a feeling of deep. Yeah, hell yeah, fuck that. We gonna go to the foundation. I like of that. You know what I'm saying? So it's not just a Google, 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 Google is your friend. You know so respect go. is a feeling of deep admiration for someone or something elicited by their abilities, qualities, or achievements. And what's loyalty? What's it, what and loyalty say? means a strong feeling of support or allegiance. That's it. That's, that's, that's as far as it goes. Mm, the dictionary fucked right. my whole answer. Fuck that shit. So, so now, at first, uh, I was, I was in a, we know what loyalty no, means. No, we, we know, know what it is amongst right. us. But right. my thing is, at, at first, I was in agreement with math. I'm like, yeah, loyalty. You know what I'm saying? My wife is loyal. My, my fiance is loyal to me, right? right? She right. held me down my whole bid. You know what I'm saying? But right. sometimes Big, uh, respect so crazy. to her, man. Does respect sometimes stop you from she snitching? Sometimes you crazy out of mouth, but where's the respect at? <laughs> right. I thought you respected me. Right. You make it too personal right now. But I'm just saying. <laughs> that's, that's what that, because he used that example of a husband and wife. But hold on. Now, now, now I got to ask you a question. Does re respect stop you from snitching? Wait, what? Wait. I, I'm does respect, <laughs> stop, does I'm respect stop you from snitching? He's snitching on his wife? code? Does respect stop you from snitching or does loyalty stop you from snitching? What's more important? Respect bro. for the code or loyalty Both, to the code? Both. Both, bro, because if I respect But you, which I'm, one? With me, which I one is in the lead? You, I'm going to be loyal to you. That's all I'm saying. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. See? I'll give you a good example, right? example, right? If I, res I, I respect every man in this room, I don't mm. know everybody in this room. Right. Right. Respect but I my respect y'all brothers. I respect everything y'all doing because y'all showed results. Mm. Facts. Right? Y'all right. 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 done things that I have not done yet. I'm still mm. learning. And y'all have set the standard. Thank right. you. Right? I respect that. Am I loyal to you guys? Yeah. Right. You don't know us. You don't know us. Yes. Right. right. Yeah. I get right. that. That's, so, that's, so, I get so, that. So, so here's I where know. I'm going. Um, people fuck up. People fuck up. Right. Fuck up people. And sometimes you don't respect the fuck up. But staying loyal 
That's more important, bro. Uh, People uh, fuck up. Uh, if, People if, fuck up. If, you're, if your but loyalty if you're is loyal, that thin, that somebody fucks up once and your loyalty's out, you were never really loyal. But but can you re- can you respect the fuck up? I can. Re- of course. You can respect the fuck Bro, up. Bro. Yeah, I'm, people I, fuck how, up. How, how, fuck up. Right. I got my fuck That's up. That's normal. Right. That's life. People fuck if up. You, if you lose respect with me because I fucked up, I'm yeah. not flawless. Of course I respect. I respect the fact that you fucked up so and you why I say loyalty. Right. That's why I say loyalty because nobody's perfect. Nah, I might fuck nah. up. So loyalty will weather lo- that. But staying loyal to me. You're right, exactly. But I won't lose respect. Right. I won't you, know lose respect. <laughs> you, you might not respect me. At four in the morning, when I'm twisted coming out the club and the shit that I'm doing is just, but I'll you know still respect I mean? you. I'll just be judging some other shit. <laughs> I'll, I'll still judge. Yeah, but right. I respect. I'm still respect. All, 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 all I'm saying is that I don't think you can, you can separate the two. No, you, you really, can't separate. I, I, those I, that's why we. Say, that's why we ask this question. Is right. because to us, to me and EFN. That's the only time you should drink. It should say both. You, you should, mm. It should always you should, say both. It should be hand in hand. To us. Yeah. To I, us. Can, right. I can dig it. Yeah. <laughs> that's to Absolutely. us. So th- I no, respect that answer. There's yeah. no yeah. real so loyalty the without respect. There's no drink. real respect without loyalty. Yeah, that, right. Yeah. I respect it. No, I get it. I get it. You could have respect from a distance to, to an adversary that you say, damn, that dude is fucking wild, but I respect his game. Mm. But is that really respect? Right. Yeah, right. that goes back to the whole editing thing too, right? Right. So like, yeah. you have a loyalty to a Buster, you have a loyalty to a Fat Joe. Yep. Right. And I'm gonna keep it. Mega doesn't have a certain loyalty because when it comes to work, it's work. I'm not a yeah. fan of your work. I'm here to do a job. Right. I'm loyal to right? the job. Right. You're loyal to the I'm job. Loyal, I'm loyal to the right. craft. So, so why you pick respect? Loyalty. But he respects the morality or the or the <laughs> guidelines of that job. There's a code that comes with it. That's what he's respecting. That really and that's loyalty. why I won't tell due to loyalty, bro. Right, but it's loyalty. It's both. It's both for day, him. It's really, it's both. Listen, man. All right, don't tell on me. Drink more. Don't tell on me. That's all I'm telling Fine, I'll take this shot <laughs> tell without a reason. <laughs> all right, yeah, Salute. Man. Cheers. Salute. Cheers. Salute. For no all goddamn right. reason. Salute. Oh, I got to sip it. Because it's not. I'm going to tell you, whatever this is right here, this shit is smooth and I'm not even drunk. Let me ask y'all a question. Like that, yeah. I'm in. For those that believe in the creator. Okay. Which one? God. Priority. And whichever one you whatever want. God yeah, you that's want. why I made that broad, right. you know, um, to speak to those who believe in different things. Mm-hmm. What would you think your creator would want? Loyalty or respect? <laughs> mm. And this is why I was right. Religiously, I think it would always be loyalty. You think your creator will want loyalty? Yeah. So then, if that is the case, if he want loyalty, why wouldn't he just made everybody loyal. to be loyal? Yeah. Why is there well, a choice? I think if he made us to be loyal, we wouldn't be asking this question. No. He wants us to be loyal on our own accord. He's no. saying, motherfucker, you better just do but it because how how does a person become loyal? I Wait. think we're I think we're chasing our tails at this point. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. The point that's being made is that the creator wants you to respect him. If he wanted you to be loyal, he would have just made you loyal and a robot. He puts you in That's life true. to understand all the and also all everything that you go through creator, in life. But we, that's assuming we, the creator even and has they say, the understanding. I want you to believe in one God Man, and one God love. only. Mm-hmm. Right. That's kind of a uh, really selfish thing. No, but we we we, <laughs> we saying this on the premise <laughs> that the creator is saying that respect and loyalty is a thing. Empowerment. The creator might not think that this is a thing. If you're dealing with the creator of the scripture, it, it actually speaks so no, much. No, no, okay. Well, that's why I said right. which creator. Right. Because each religion has that's their own version. That's why I ask you, your right. God, you right. know right. what I'm right. saying? Right. Whichever God that right. someone, that's why I ask you specifically what do If we're talking yeah. biblical, then yes, yeah. I understand you know, where yeah. you're coming you know, from. Yeah. Yeah. I, so, I'm going to change the subject for a second. <laughs> we get <laughs> so way mad. too deep. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Murder Mook, you want murder Mook? No, because that would be pointless for me. That'd be pointless for me. Are you sure? Bruh, from, from, like, the, be from the beginning of this shit. Y'all like... I'm a, I, I, I was the realest nigga in this shit, bro. No, it's not, I brought, no, 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 it's not real. It's listen, not no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need, I need you to know what was relax. going on. Okay, that's us <laughs> I would like to. Battle rap was cool. 
until Math Hoffa came. It was cool. Until you oh, came? Oh, yeah, them niggas stared at it. Oh, that's cute. They dissing each other. That's cute. But when, when I came on the <laughs> scene, serious. it was intense. It was, ooh, what are they going to talk about? Who are you going to punch in the face? Happen? What's going to be revealed? What's going to be? You know what I mean? It, 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 Lee, relax. it became something else. And as much as, you know, shout out to Mook for, for his contribution to the culture and, and how he still, you know, is control of that area. But, bruh. You seen this battle recently? If you don't believe what a nigga's saying, it's just entertainment. Mm. But when you believe, nah, that nigga really do that shit. It's different. Mm. Oh. You feel the pressure. Right. You feel the pressure. You dig what I'm saying? And, and, that, and that's why I like, I feel like, that's why I feel like none of niggas can fuck with me, period. Ever in life. Ever in yo, life. Yo, Nori, you gotta, you gotta think about something, bro. I'm thinking about it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've looked at battle rap, right? I'm a jail nigga. Uh-huh. I'm the resident jailologist. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm the resident Every episode, that's an ill term. Like Every episode, coming out of this thing. I'm the resident jailologist, <laughs> right. right? Unfortunately. Uh-huh. But when you look at, if you look at results, you look at results in comparison to what was happening at the time, mm. then you can make a, a sound decision on your own. Look at the results. Look at the escalation of shit. Mm. Yeah. Right? Let this factually fuck fuck how I feel. Fuck that. I'm not trying, I'm not being biased because I work with math. Mm. Nah. Look at the results. So why didn't they never battle? Niggas are scared. This nigga elevated. Damn. He elevated, he bro. Scared. No, while I was there, they were scared. When I left, I'm out of there. Fuck I need to talk to you niggas for. Whole nother frequency, bro. Yeah, it's different. It's different. <laughs> Guess the you don't ain't gonna say happen. too much. You understand what I'm saying? I think it's gonna happen. Now. It's not gonna happen, bro. I guarantee you. So y'all spoke, y'all, y'all like y'all was in like, because y'all he was on the show. I seen him on the yes. show. Yes. Pulled him to the side and said, "It's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. <laughs> not because of you. This nigga no It's not. It's, not, it's <laughs> never been." Yo, I, I stepped into the shit. Battle. I stepped into the shit calling the niggas out. One of the top out. mobs. Who you yeah, talking? T-Rex. T-Rex, right? T-Rex. T-Rex. That, and that was the start of URL. So every everything that you see as far as URL and smack and all, that started with me mm. and T-Rex. Mm. If we didn't hit, if we didn't do four million views on World Star in two days, that might not exist. Mm. But shout out to Smack because he gave me a look before that. Shout you know what I mean? Right? Shout out to T-Rex also. But it's, it's just different mm. when a nigga... All right, damn, how can I put it? If, 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 if Murder Mook is Floyd Mayweather, who are you in battle rap? If, if Murder Floyd. Mook is Floyd Mayweather, who am I? Mm. Muhammad Ali. Uh, I'm Muhammad Ali. Clap to that. Clap to that. Flying like a butterfly, because, sinking because, like a bee. No, but 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 there's a difference between the nigga who made the most bread and the nigga who stood for something and changed people's perceptions on how to view life. Is that Murder Book who made the most bread out of? Um, I would say so. The battle rappers? I would say so, as far as like the battle rappers, mm-hmm. but then you know, unfortunately, the way battle rap is structured, Cassidy might have made more more bread than him. You get what I'm saying? Uh-huh. But. When you think about people who change your perception on life, that's math Hoffa. Period. Results. Period. Results. Period. Results. Period. Results. Well, rest in peace to Pat Stay. Rest in peace to Pat Stay. Well, Hold on. Even look at Nori, right? Nori. Oh, I ain't a battle rapper. Nah, you're not a battle rapper. Nah, nah, nah. You're not. You're a rapper. But when you're you rapper, said certain shit on the start. track, I'm taking and a niggas knew, <laughs> yeah, Nori really do that shit. All right, all right. It hit different. Yeah. And but you when transition. a nigga say, yo, I spray you with the 40 and yeah, this, that, and the third. Oh, but, but you know a nigga. <laughs> yeah, nah, 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 what, what I'm saying? I'm saying, like, back in the day, back in the day. Yes, back in the day. I'm, I'm a monster. When you, when you said certain shit, you're different. <laughs> Drinking Ace of Spades. I'm from Brooklyn. Well, no, no, when no, Hope no. said, couldn't talk about it if I ain't live it. Uh-huh. 
that was real for me. Right. That's the vibe. Mm-hmm. So when niggas stand in front of me and they say all types of ridiculous shit, and I know like, come on, my nigga, I'll put your collar over your head. Stop mm-hmm. it right now. Well, we'll give him a Reggie? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shut up. Yeah. Oh, shut up. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> stop. Yeah, stop. It's different yeah. when 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 it. Think about a, a, a fictional movie in a an autobiographical biogra- biography movie. Mm-hmm. You know that story is real. Mm-hmm. It's different. Mm-hmm. It hit different. This nigga really did this shit. It hit different. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Like watching Malcolm X will always be better than watching Idiocracy. Exactly. Yes, sir. Exactly. Yes, you killed that? Did it. Did that. Did that. You did that, yeah. Nori. Yeah. Like, yeah. I did that. Yeah. I did that. Yeah. <laughs> you did that. But, to be honest, if you want to know how dumb we are, watch Idiocracy. Have you ever seen this movie? Yeah, That's I feel the like dumbest I, movie ever. I feel like, and it shows us exactly what we're doing. They, it said that the more technology we get, the dumber that we actually get. These motherfuckers. It's just like it's like the year twenty yeah. seventy seven, right? And everybody's stupid. Everyone's drinking Gatorade. And, uh, uh, no, they, they replace water they, with Gatorade. They, they're trying it's to Gatorade. They're, they're trying to water more. plants with Mountain Dew. <laughs> your mountain, mountain Dew, Mountain Dew, Gatorade. What are those? Shit's ridiculous. Yeah. Powerades. Right. Oh, shit. Shit's stupid. Yeah, they. they, yeah. they, they it's, it's stupid. They watering plants with fucking with Powerades. There, there's yeah. a wrestler that's president and all that shit. Oh yeah. Oh. Terry, Terry. And, 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 that's, and, that's, and that's, he had a Spanish last name. <laughs> he was black. <laughs> His name was Carlos. Black. Juan Ramirez. <laughs> shit like. But that's what I'm saying. Like it's it's wrestling. Right. When ain't no reality there, it's just wrestling. Right. You know what I mean? And every we all love wrestling, but at some age you realize, yo, he not really punching that nigga. You know what I mean? Like Santa Claus? Right. But my, my question to you, Nori, is okay. you understand the process of evolution. Yes. Right? You evolved in many to. different ways. Yeah, no, you many. have. It's, yes. It's, no, you tried to. You have. Okay. I've right? Well. So when you talk about when you when you talk about two different people, mm-hmm. totally different people. And then you like again. You look at the results. And you look at the evolution. You a fact-minded guy. Mm-hmm. You know what it is. Yeah. You know what it is, don't we? Are we talking about the murder mook? Math. That's what we talking yeah, about. Yeah, I think right? we still. I think we still. We ain't talking even talking about, about it. It's no battle, bro. It's Damn. no battle. The God, point is, is the evolution is different. Bro, there's, certain, there's certain things you just can't say yes to because you know it's an L. You just can't, bro. It's an L. Why am I going to say yes to that? Uh-uh. What? You know what I'm saying? You're good. Why are we That's moving backwards. I'm just saying, but but but, but, but I, I, I don't feel like we should put people under the pressure of like, yo, just running towards the L. <laughs> we don't need to do that. No, re- no, realistically, don't don't put people in that nah, position. Don't make them desperate. Let's be clear. Because they don't let's got... Let's be devil's advocate. Yeah. Let's be devil's advocate. Uh-huh. Murder book is sharp. What's the next question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> I just yeah. want to. I mean, no, I, I would love listen, to see it. Listen. That's that's y'all. The, the way for me, put it together, yeah. awesome. All right. The way I put it together, there might be six niggas in the world that's gonna be like, yo, All right. he really did that shit. All right. Like, and I, that's I, what it. That's that's exciting like, for like, me. Me, I tell you what, like I am Solomon, but I. Take both of y'all battles. Right. They're both equal. Aya Solomon was the Eminem. Let's just be clear. Right. Before you and Mook battled him. And I Clearly won. he was the Eminem. And like I he won. Was wa- but by the way, washing everybody Everybody. Up. I couldn't believe it. Right. Now, who beat Aya Solomon first? You? Me. For real? Me. Yeah, you might That's be why I'm favorite. saying. And you know what's crazy? Yeah, you know what's crazy, man? Here's a line oh, from that man. battle. He know Thug. He know me from his people's club. Because I don't fuck niggas up outside of EO Dub. Uh, and he knew that. Wow. And the people standing with him knew that. You dig what I'm saying? That's different. Let's <laughs> get crazy different. right now. Let's get crazy right now. That's a good one. You got me hype, man. It is what it is. Holy shit. Oh, I wasn't ready. And then, yo, Nori, uh-huh. niggas relate to you because you really was like that. Yes, bro. right. I am not no more. I know that. I know that. You know that. You know that. You know you're not going to lie. No more. You're taking a shot for no, no reason. Come on. Let's come on. You can't just sneak a shot. Up to you, up to you. Nah, nah, brothers. I'm going to be honest. Sean Bigger, um, champ, 
math, uh, Mecca. I know Mecca's at the bathroom. What y'all doing is remarkable. What y'all doing is taking barbershop talk. Yeah, I'm really making it world. Hell, hold on, salute. salute. Really making it worldwide. Cheers, I want to salute y'all, brothers. I want to tell y'all. Continue, continue to do your thing, but I also want to tell y'all protect your energy. Because mm. the bigger you get, the more people is going to want to spread false narratives around it. Right. And they're going to start using you. And everyone is not to be used. Right. And everyone shouldn't have the platform. So be careful. Like, it's a learning lesson. And I have nothing wrong to say about any artist, but sometimes you got to, like, sit, sit back and say, you know what? If I do this, I know what this result is going to lead to. Right. And know the intention of the yes, of the you know, guest. the best thing Sometimes I've ever had. Sometimes the guest comes with intention. I tell this to my friends all the time. The best things I, I, I ever had is relationships. And the best thing I ever did was always make friends first, then business partners. Right. Because the thing about it is all these people are pieces of shit, right? If they're going to pick... Between y'all and their family, they're gonna pick their family every time. That's a fact. But so are you. Right. So they're not that much pieces of shit because right. y'all have the same morals when it comes to that. Right. And then you gotta take it from there. You gotta say, all right, cool. He's not wrong for saying that him and Brenda, he just want, he just wanna care about him and Brenda because he, because he, we just care about me and our family, right? Right. But you gotta, you gotta watch that shit because. The more powerful you get, the more responsibilities you're gonna have, mm -hmm. and the more p the devil is gonna come out. Somehow. Oh yeah, but the devil, the devil is working overtime on y'all right now. But for for me, it's a simple decision. Y'all see the devil for me. Thank y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, it's a simple decision. I put my energy into the show. Mm -hmm. It changed my life. Uh -huh. If I put energy into a hater, I'm going to change his life. Mm -hmm. So why would I do that? Mm -hmm. I just let him, let's see what you could do on your own. I ain't got no words for him. I don't have to. I respond to things that I feel like I have to and things that I don't. People see it. They be like, yeah, man, I probably don't got to say nothing to this nigga. Mm. And it is what it is. So shout out to all you niggas. I hope you find your way. And I hope that you realize when you get to a point of success that what you did to get there might not have been the right thing if that's the way you was moving. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. How about you, uh, John? Um, you, you, you being on camera, like I just tell you a street dude, like I, I could tell, um, I could tell you from my era, like in my era is, we don't look at the camera direct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like we kind of like, yeah. like I, I, I kid you not, my whole um, first year of NORE was, and I went platinum. It's probably the worst year. Me, my uncle wise, um, all of my, 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 my friends, we took no pictures. We thought pictures was trash. <laughs> that was right. the era. You didn't take pictures. Yeah, it was the era. Yeah, so no we got pictures. this whole tour. We went all over the world. And no I pictures. Went <laughs> Why? That's how it my was. uncle called me the other day. Up. He was like, you know how corny niggas we were back then? Yeah. And I said, well, he said, yo, we purposely didn't take pictures. Nope. Yeah. We have nothing documented but memories. And I said, that's kind of better than this era right now. Right. I Fine. go and perform. No one's looking at me. They going like this. Yeah. I be wanting to kick their fucking phone. <laughs> The fuck is you doing, doing nigga? I'm killing it right, right here. Yeah, right. Why you want to document it for later? Yeah, yeah facts. But facts. Uh, so. Um, yeah, like you said, in our era, that's how it was. Um, now, how are you adapting to like this fame and people the, seeing um, you? It was um, so I just learned about the internet thing and all of that, and the people that react and read in the comments. I'm sorry, and did all you, of see, that you just learned about the internet? Yeah, yeah, pretty much the internet with yeah. the Instagram. I had to thing. tell them how to run his Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, that, that's cool. Actually, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I, 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 I wish you were. <laughs> 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 
I'm old school. I ain't had no Instagram. No, no, I ain't, I wish I would've so you, know, you didn't Facebook, have an Instagram? I was still, you know, pretty much on that. You know, right. if I have Facebook, it's private, and it was only for my family members that, you know, that's oh, yeah. it. Like, oh, so you, you, have, you have a Facebook? Yeah, that's have a Twitter? all I have. No, I don't oh, have no you, Twitter. You have a, um Instagram? Yeah, because he... He said now. Nah, yeah, time yeah. out. Let me just yeah. give you... This is... If you ever want a dose of negativity, <laughs> it's Instagram. Open up your Twitter. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I mean, Twitter, Twitter. Oh, Twitter, I, Twitter's nasty. The new Twitter, even with Elon Musk? It's worse. Oh, it bro. Like, it's, it's, it's way yeah. worse. It's racist now. Shit, it's, flagrant. I, yeah, it's, it's flagrant. It wasn't racist before. I'm not really on it like that. Twitter? Nah, Stay away. Twitter, bro. Yo, let me tell you something. I'm so sorry, because I'm going to sound crazy. But I wake up. I don't even brush my teeth. He's a Twitter dude? I just go straight to Twitter. I'm <laughs> tweet, you the Tweety Bird? I'm so addicted. I, I, I oh. advise against that. I advise against yeah. that. The first half an hour that you wake up, you shouldn't be on your don't phone. Don't be on social media. Don't touch no. your let, phone. Let me tell you something. I'm, I'm going to give you something Control better. Control your energy. Let me give you something better, right? Me and Benzino used to live in the same building, right? Right. So one day, you know, we having breakfast. Benzino wakes up in the morning. And he goes on Twitter, <laughs> and he Googles his own name. I don't even know how you could do this. Nah, you look it up. So yeah. you could look. You know, you look. See what you mean? Say. How you don't know how you could do listen, this? Listen, no, no, no. Because yeah. this is the messages they're not adding you. Yeah. They're not adding you. He knows how to pull up the messages where they just told yeah, you. He his found name. his name. Where's, he Googled yeah, his name. Facts. He's hashtag. He searched his name. He yeah. responds to every negative comment. <laughs> <Why? laughs> I'm not mad at him for that. Like, though. Wow. That's, that's kind of dumb. I was like, I've never seen nobody more negative than this in my life. If you go be negative. Be that negative. Be that negative. Be that, <laughs> I'm saying, so if you gonna be that, we go all the way what, down. Then I gotta say, shout out to Talib Kweli. Oh, oh, Talib, oh, no, oh no, absolutely. Talib does that Talib all the way. Oh, oh, Twitter I don't know oh, how he does that. it. He's the definition of Twitter, Twitter fingers. <laughs> so he's, by the way, he's every finger, not just Twitter. He's every finger. He finds. Every racist. Bro. <laughs> if Chapel doesn't have a click farm helping him, then he's ill. Yeah. No, it's him by no, himself. No, it's just him. I, no, I know. I'm saying that. that. No. Point, no. You probably I'm got templates. You know, I asked him. You probably got templates <laughs> already. Just I asked him about that, that shit, and he smiled. And I was like, yeah, that nigga like Tell that shit. Oh, no, no, no. He like that shit. No, no, no. Oh, no. He like that shit. And we interviewed him, Dave Chappelle. And most that Which was yeah. fire And when when we broke it up They all laughed at him They was all like No don't get Tyler started Yeah <laughs> <laughs> He goes in He goes oh, in So you guys You don't have a Twitter I recommend you get a Twitter I'm gonna be honest with you Nah don't get no a Twitter bigger, don't, don't get a Twitter Don't, 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 don't get a Twitter No 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 Listen nah, Just, just Instagram sure. alone is enough Let me tell you why I like He's Twitter right. <laughs> Listen let me tell you why I like Twitter Way more than Instagram Way more than um. And I, I don't know Eli Musk or nothing Okay, thanks for the, thanks for that. I don't have a haircut. I ain't going on Instagram. If I don't like feel good about life, I ain't going on Instagram. I could be fucked up. Just my mind is whatever, and I go on Twitter. It's somebody so much worse than me. <laughs> There's somebody on there. Like I just lost my dog. Who do my you follow, bro? My Who are you following? <laughs> my wife is fucking some guy named Chucky. You know, it's like, it's crazy on Twitter. And I look, and it's yeah. like Jerry Springer. Yeah, Why you used to think your life was fucked up, and then you go on Jerry Springer. You got Jack Daniels, Yo, no, too? No, no. What is going guy on? Flood the guy here. No. No, tw uh, Twitter's like the dirty section of social media. Yeah. It's well, the dirty then, section. Then, all right, that's regular Twitter. Right. Yeah. Then there's black Twitter, right? Right. Where I don't give a fuck what you do. You wrong. <laughs> You're making nobody happy. Nobody. <laughs> nobody. I swear to God, I could post Bruh. a picture of my dog. The dog ain't doing shit. He posted it and fuck your dog. <laughs> wow. And I enjoy it. <laughs> <Wait>. You enjoy it? <laughs> Who told you that? I enjoy it. I enjoy <laughs> the fuck your dog comment. Yes, I enjoy the negative because wow. my life is really positive. I'm really living a great life. Yeah. And I need to know, do not be comfortable, sir. 
Mm. Mm. Do not get comfortable. Mm. There's Keeps people you out there that's miserable. Fact. Remind you yourself yeah. every day. Post your picture with you and a bottle of water saying, I'm, I'm living life. And they're like, fuck you, nigga. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you, nigga. That's real shit. That's real shit. Like, and I need that. That's I real shit. That. At that moment, I need. Don't you ever get comfortable in an RE. Yeah. There's a hater out there right there, and he likes you. Yeah, and but, he's, but he's talking crazy. But he's talking crazy right now. Don't get comfortable at all. Look, man, that's the hood. Keep you grounded. Keeps you grounded. Oh, that's I, not I, just the hood. That's the world. Yeah. It's the world. Yeah. That's not, I not put it to just Twitter. the hood. That's the world. Yeah. I recommend to with a oh, Look, what is it? I, wholeheartedly. I, listen, I got I got no mercy against anyone who hates on me because if you knew that I have no fucking shoes. Mm. For months mm. in Barbados. Mm. Why You're would Bajan? you? Yes. Why would you hate on me? You if you knew. No, Bajan, oh. not Barbados. If Barbasian. you <laughs> if you knew that I had to get get adjusted to the New York school system, mm. getting jumped and getting into fights every single day, why would you hate on me? If you knew I came from the fucking bottom mm. and I made something, mm. why would you hate on me? Makes no sense. I got, a, I got a real question for you. Did you ever wear the Jamaican belts? Yes. <laughs> With jeans, nigga. You wore the Jamaican With belts? Jeans. Everybody, <laughs> jeans. With jeans. Everybody that's West Indian. With jeans. And they were yes. Jamaican. And then, especially the Asians. You pull Asians. it. <laughs> that shit stay right there and it's hanging down. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bro, I'll be square more. Bro, I'll be yeah, square more. Yes. Okay. Yes. Everything. You can tell everything. Old New York. So while I got my friends from Abbey Square Mall. Uh, I was out of line. Not from uh, Nassau, Cal I mean uh Bargain Bazaar. Coliseum? Nah, I ain't gonna lie. On a low. You went to Bargain Bazaar? Abbey Square Mall was iller than the Coliseum. Same. Coliseum kinda I, that's, I'm like, oh, what are you doing? It hurts me so much. What are you doing? It hurts me so much. Stop it. You never had to Stop it. I got to be honest with you. you doing? My cousin in Brooklyn was stop it. What are you doing? My homie Troy Outlaw used to bring me to Farragut. Farragut. Right. Four Green was right next to each right. other. Right. By the way, it was the craziest shit ever. It was totally, I felt like I was in, like, I was going to say Disney World, but what I mean by that Disney World, what I mean is I was totally out. I, I didn't even feel like I was in New York City. Out of element. Right. And I went to a mall called Abbey Square Mall, and the guy in there said, I got dental gold. And I was like, dental gold? <laughs> I had never heard <laughs> of that yeah, yeah. He can't probably see food y'all to me. I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> right. But I went, and I came back because of, cause I got frames. And the, the, it was so thin, and no one in Queens, no one in Queens could understand and I was I, 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 like I, I said, where you got that I was like Syracuse <laughs> <laughs> I ain't watching the show I was like and then Miss Mark came up ah we ain't screwing up I was like fuck <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I just told it's everybody how old more. I am. I'm old school. Downtown Brooklyn is crazy. Downtown. That's a Yo, fact. By I know the way, there's 50 niggas out there when you walked in there, by right? Way, it's not the same. It's not. No, absolutely. It's not. Like I, I, but no place is the same. But you can still get robbed, though. Let's just yeah, yeah, definitely. You, you, you can definitely. turn the wrong corner. Right. And you can still get robbed. I, I was telling him, go, 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 go to Brooklyn. He's like, and that's okay. Yes, it's, I mean, I miss that part of Brooklyn. I, I went to a Soho house in Brooklyn. Like, oh, downtown by the bridge. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, they don't yeah. go to Soho House don't yeah. belong in Brooklyn, but uh, they're gonna have a Soho House in Compton next week. I'm just being honest. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, shit, shit is probably it's, gentrification is rare. Fact. It is. Can we gentrify it the opposite way? I don't, like, can we go? I don't believe in gentrification. What is what? Why you don't? Jesus, we get so, it's, yeah, it's classism. Is, classism. Mm. I like that. if you got the money to stay, yeah, who gonna stay? But what is gentrification to you? Gentrification. What does that mean to you? I, it's called gentrification because I feel like there's a specific race who has more money. You think that's exactly what it means? Of course. Think, if you no, no, no. Ass I'm up. not saying that's what it means. Right. I'm saying when people say gentrification, it's not completely gentrified. If you got the money to stay where you at, right. you could, you're going to stay. Right. But if you don't, right, because money's buying yeah. the people out. That They're outpricing there. you. Yeah. So, so you got to go to where it makes sense for you. So when I when, when I went to Colombia, I went to this area you called Colombia too. Yeah. You know this, bro. I did drink chance from Colombia. We didn't remember that. You don't remember that, right? 
You I went to one of the worst crazy, huh? hoods in Colombia that during the cartel wars and Choco? everything. No, no, it was uh. Where would, where did we go, Paul? Paul. Yo, we went to Bogota. We went to Medellin. Oh my God, he's not helping. Did bro. you go to Choco? No. no. Nobody no, went we, to Choco. We were in Medellin. We were in Medellin. What was the place in Medellin we went to? The Comuna Tres. Oh, I remember y'all was on cocaine. You had. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. I remember. Shout out to my daughter. FaceTime. Why? She's Shout Colombian. She's half Colombian. So we went to Comuna Tres in Medellin. Right. This is this is uh, Escobar's territory where he had the the gangs fighting and they had the the they had a crazy war in there. Right. It was one of the worst spots in like late nineties. Right. Hip hop actually free. changed everything there. How? Like. Oh so, um, the hip hop community did graffiti that that changed everything. They they had b boys. They had they they did. They gave people an outlet. They had for artistic expression. Right. Expression. It right. was wild. Like right. I did a documentary. Like you could watch it. Like right now I'm fucked up and I can't explain it totally. But this is where I realized there is reverse gentrification because what they did, the government was part of it. So you might need government help. The government put, because in Colombia, the way I saw it, is the higher you got out in the mountain, the worse it was, right? Mm -hmm. So the more poverty was up. Yeah. In other places, like the higher you got up, the richer it was. Okay. Yeah. But in Colombia, in this specific area, the higher up, it was worse. So they actually put um, escalators. In the, in the mountains. In the hood. Going the up into the hood. Escalators. Not elevators. No. The way your hand no. is going, that's an es elevator. No, escalators. escalators right. Up the side of a mountain. Escalators going into the mountain. Right. Into the into the side of the hill. Was there cocaine there? No. <laughs> so, <laughs> you go into this area, and we were in there, and, you, and then they have a tour of the graffiti there. There's kids that are B-boys and B-girls. DJs are set up. They have artisans with, with, because now it's a tourist trap for the better sense of, of what a tourist trap is. Right. But, because the escalator's there. <laughs> but it's the people that live there. You smoke this whole time? Yeah. Bro, what the hell? Keeping this shit in. Well, so fuck he, both y'all. He, he, he know, he know. The, the point is, is that there is, I do believe that there is a way for reverse gentrification. Right. Where the hood can control their shit. Because they did it, we saw it with our own eyes. But you said it was government. That's in Colombia. No, the That's only thing Columbia. the government assisted in was well, the government has like can Eddie, we go to Williamsburg we, and like buy saying, back Williamsburg? It's like saying no, it's like saying independent nah, or major. There is no yes, independence in this world. Can go to yes, you, can. you can, but it's not gonna happen. Bruh. Bro, can we go to Lowerton and buy bro, back Lowerton? My, minorities brought in you enough, see Madoff is from Lowerton. Enough money to have their own country. Madoff from Queens is fat. Mm. The, I see Madoff documentary in 2022. Which Madoff? Bernie, Bernie, Bernie Madoff. You ain't seen the documentary nah, on nah. Netflix? Oh, yeah, nobody seen it? Yeah, hey, I saw nah. it. You saw it? You saw it? Is that shit mean or what? No, He's a foul nigga. It's very good. Yo, but by the way, that's the first person I've ever seen. They confiscated his shit, his wife's shit, his son's shit, his other son. They confiscated yeah. everything from him. They don't do that to white people. That's the first time I've ever seen it. It's usually they just do it to him and that's it. Right. They let his his wife was in a Honda Accord. Living in a Honda Accord. That's foul. She was living in it? Living in a Honda Accord. You gotta watch this shit. This shit is crazy. That's wild. Watch it twice. That's wild. That's how crazy it is. You ain't fuck with it like that? No, it's heavy. I ain't watch it twice, but you yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That shit was heavy. Like, was was enough. Enough. It showed me a lot I didn't know. He and and what's Twitter. crazy is, what you didn't know, he did this for 30 years. He would take your money it was a Ponzi and scheme. make Investment, you yeah. feel like you made money. He'll be like, yo, whatever. And you would give him back your money. Yeah, he took somebody's money, gave, you gave it to the next person. Return. You got nothing. He's just like, yo, I, 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 listen, on your, I'm just giving you an example. I'm just giving false numbers. We're like, yo, on your 30 grand, I already made like 60, 60 such and such for it. So you want me to, um, whatever, whatever. And you're like, no, 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 take it. Because you feel like you want to keep making money. Mm -hmm. So he did it for 30 years. 30 years. And it's crazy because these mm -hmm. people were reinvest. What's, what's crazy about it with... One of the first things we learned about Brother Kanye is that Chase 
cut their ties with him. Mm -hmm. Right. Chase is still tied to this man. To, to Bernie? To Bernie. Oh, that's crazy. They that's never crazy. stopped their bank account with him. They said, we didn't know. That's it. That's crazy. They had no lawsuit. There was nothing filed against them. There was nothing. And they were still in business. This is crazy, crazy. bro. And Kanye hurt no one. Kanye took no one's house. That was white privilege. Kanye, uh, <laughs> he, he, none of that. I, I, I think Guru said something very important on my show. He young said, guru. stop saying, yeah, young Guru. Shout out to Guru. Mix in my project. Um, Damn, flossing on us. Expensive. You know what I mean? <laughs> he said, Name we it. need to stop saying they. the Illuminati or they. It's true. Okay. That's true. Wait, what Khaled be talking about? They, they, and, they don't want us to and, eat. And, no, uh, but, that's but, not what Khaled's talking about. But we actually like. find the names of the people that's behind certain shit right. that holds people back. You can't and create they, the boogeyman and not yeah, know who you the boogeyman is. You can't is. fight it, they. You can't find an Illuminati. You don't know right. where to find it. They don't that's got no location. For, you know? for you to scapegoat your problems. But there's a motherfucker out there that's trying to pass a bill that's going to fuck us all right. up and we can find him. Right. Right. So find his name. Put his shit in the circuit and be like, yo, fuck this guy. You know what I mean? Right. They claim y'all is Illuminati yet? Um, yeah, definitely. Oh, we all Illuminati, right? Been doing all of us are here Illuminati, right? Not the whole video. But no, 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 no. Method Man brought me in. That's what they said. There's a whole video <laughs> saying Method Man brought me in, son. That shit's crazy. Illumin I didn't know that, but we're all in it, right? Yeah, we're yeah. all in it. I mean, yeah. 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 Listen, you know what's you really fucked up? just throw up the That scares me. In hip-hop, that's what's so fucked up. If you're successful, it's either you're gay or you're with Illuminati. Or you're gay Illuminati. But that's a loser. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. But that's a Go loser mentality because losers them. are going to come up with every reason of why they can't win. But their reasons when they put out the videos is pretty good. Yeah, I'm it, like, damn, Nori is Illuminati. Bro, I they, believe Nori's they, Illuminati now. They're like, yo, they're they like, yo, Nori went like this yo, in the video. When they tell me what Nori did with Nas in the room and then Puff and the, I was like, <laughs> bro, you're right. He was there. <laughs> He's the Illuminati! <laughs> Holy shit, I've been hanging out with the Illuminati this, this whole fucking crazy. time. Yo, they, <laughs> they, 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 well, caught, they caught a picture with me and Method Man. I went like this, but they caught my fingers bent, and he was like, look, he's throwing up the 666, oh, definitely... and it's on the video. I was like, what the fuck? Well, I'm going to tell them right now, like, you are they... in the Illuminati. <laughs> know, we here then, fuck it, we here. You, you know, see the video where I'm, I'm the leader of the cartel? Us playing around about this? There's a kid in Arkansas right now. Like, look, they admitted it. They tell it. They tell it. They tell it. And it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a two second clip. No, that's we clip. are in the Illuminati. It's, big, it's gonna be big, like, big. it's gonna be yeah. fans saying we are in the Illuminati. Right, we are. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. But you know, I, I feel like when, whenever a person say that, they're downgrading your hard work. Yeah, and that's a I scapegoat. Mean, it's sure. a scapegoat. I mean, sure, it's yeah. bullshit. It's loser. Well, we know it's bullshit, yeah. but. Yeah. So I'm, um, I'm gonna tell you something, right, Nori, about yeah, this yeah. this show, right? Yes. This show, Math Hoffa, Mecca, Bigger. Mm -hmm. I sit back on the show. I came on the show with about in the summertime, right? Mm -hmm. A few months ago, I sat back and watched <clears throat> an organization of things that was unprecedented, as far as my experience, right? I I, I sat and watched math be calculated and strategic. I watched Mecca come with wisdom. Right, wisdom and knowledge of the game, experience. I Me. watch Mecca be a person who takes a stand that stands on his his words. Right, right. right? And actually, and his beliefs, yeah. And mm -hmm. his beliefs, right? Mm -hmm. And his, his fear of God and his belief in God. Same thing with Bigger. Yeah, with, with, that's what I'm saying with Bigger. So sit back and watching this makes for a great pot of greatness. Mm. It makes yeah. for a, pay, a great part of greatness. Absolutely. And that's why so many people in an intimate environment, right? First mm -hmm. of all, the barbershop is an intimate, intimate environment. Mm -hmm. Right. Right? Sitting there having these conversations. There's, there's no editing of sorts or whatever. If you're sitting in your living room and you're watching the show, there's an intimacy there. Mm -hmm. Whether you're with your boys or you're in the studio or you're with your, your loved one. So what this does is it helps you relate to the show more. You understand what I'm saying? Right. And this is why, again, you know, motherfuckers can't say it enough. It's 
is number one as far as the independent route. Mm -hmm. God damn it. And we respect that. Because right. mm -hmm. people connect to the intimacy of it. No freaky. Right. No freaky. No freaky. No freaky. They right. connect to that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I just I just got to put that out there. We connect yeah. to that. Yeah. But, but I'm, and I'm going to also tell you something. Fix your um, collar, man. You, and thank you, great. brother. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm going to also tell you something. Um, he's an independent guy, right? EFN wants to own 100% of everything, which is great. I'm a major guy, right? Mm -hmm. I can own 50% of a major company, and I'm, I'm, and, and I'm good with that, right? Mm -hmm. And as I like what he said. I'm with the major... As long as the majors with me, right? I, I'm paraphrasing what you said. Yeah, yeah, right. But um, and that's really what it is. It's like I've been platinum, right? Being platinum is probably one of the illest feelings you could <laughs> ever have. Like. I wish it on anybody. I bought, I bought that album. God damn it, thank you. We all did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, think we all so, I was running red lights yeah. to that shit in yeah. Brooklyn. And I'm going to tell you something. When I sold crack, right. nothing could replace that feeling. So when a person's still selling crack or still being a drug dealer, I understand that. Because it's it's not the money. It's the thrill. Right. It's the thrill of me saying, yo, come to the corner. Here, yeah, I got this. I got and And nothing can replace that. Right. Until I went black. Until I went gold. When I got gold, it replaced that feeling. Then it's a time in a rapper's life where it's not going to happen again. Mm -hmm. It's just not. Right. I could not replace that feeling. I was so until a party came. I can literally go platinum every week. Every week. week. Mm. Depending on how hard Imagine I go, that. Oh, right? Mm. And it's it got so great that we take days off. Like we do shit to be like, oh, let's, let's, <laughs> let's let's interview the y'all up because we know the y'all ain't. We can't help. Right. It's done. Right. Mm -hmm. right. But let's give him that platform. Right. Where, and we take a days off, and it, and and it's so thrilling because. This is the easiest money I've ever made. Not, not saying I don't work hard. I work hard as a mo motherfucker. Right. But what it is is I'm talking. Like when I wrote write rhymes, I gotta sit there. I gotta, I gotta slow down. This rhyme don't rhyme with this. Oh, I ain't say this like this. Then committed I don't to memory. Do that right here, huh? Right. Then committed to memory. And then yeah, and oh right. well, well, I don't remember I shit no more. I be trying to think I'm. Hoving them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> the performance. No, he's. You know, I, I, I was right. thinking the joke, but um, yeah. And this is such a beautiful thing, man. Um, I'm so glad where y'all at and where y'all continue to go and continue to grow because. Likewise. Because I just I, I tell you, man. Um, being great by yourself is cool, but being great with a team is so much better. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to go on vacation by myself and I got to pay for the bill. Like, my people, I want to put them in a position for them to say, Shalom, this is on me. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. And, and I know I, I'm saying that in the, my, the most minute situation, but it's really true. It really feels good to empower someone else and to make them the boss, you know right. what I'm saying? To make right. them, you know, I always say, and I, I probably never said it to EFN or around EFN, my relationship with Capone made my relationship with EFN so much better. How so? Because I always used to try to make Capone like me. I wanted him to be on time. I wanted him to be punctual. I wanted mm -hmm. him to, and that's not who he is. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's mm -hmm. not, and every time I pushed him to be towards that, we separated. Right. So I don't change the EFN at all. This motherfucker don't want to change. <laughs> this motherfucker don't want to roll. Up. This motherfucker don't want. He just wants to be him. Yeah. But had I not, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but had I not I been mean. through it with Pone trying to make him like me and realizing. You wouldn't have known the, 
Let I wouldn't have known him. to just relax yeah. with the yala. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. And and I'm proud of that shit. You know? yeah. like, That's I'm actually That's proud because, but now with us, you know, you look at these people and it looks like we're hanging out with people, but damn near 70% of these people are on payroll. They all got jobs. They're all here. 70% of them. And they all look like us. Mm, right. You know what I mean? They yeah. all, we was we was able to do that. We was able to um and big up a revolt for that. Cause cause when we got with Revolt, Revolt hired this whole staff, and we was like, ugh. <laughs> That's true. We reached to the check. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we were like, ugh. Right. And we looked and this, you know, because our the staff because. relaxed. But uh Mr. Lee and Hazardous and you know, our roster, I just told them, man, just watch them, man. Let's watch, let's see what, what they are doing. Mm -hmm. And we realized they ain't smarter than us. Fire they whole staff. Get <laughs> the fuck out of here. I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. Right. Fuck them. Yeah. Fuck them. Yeah. Well, but, I mean, revolt fire the whole staff, not me. All right, that's not me. <laughs> and we hired our people back, the right. same people that was here. And, you know, that, it, it reminds of, of the realness that y'all are displaying. Like, you know, um, you're my friend. Um, I think this is the first time I met you, right? Mm -hmm. I think this is the first time. No, I, no, I, I met, met you at Brooklyn before. Chop House. Okay, yeah, 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 you yeah. You had no suit, I think. Nah, I have no, no suit. Sure. <laughs> Yo, you think because I'm bald headed? No, 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 not only proud of you, I'm proud of all the brothers. I'm proud of, like, and y'all suffer from the same thing that we suffer from. Female guests. Mm. We do need some more females, man. Yeah. <clears throat> not, it's not but, a but, podcast. But it's just, sc it's just scary in this time because we say reckless shit around each other. But if I you mean, say reckless we, shit we around each other, uh, yeah. we had Remy. Yeah, oh, we, we had Remy twice. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Whoa, 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 um, whoa, whoa! No, we yeah. we had her on the show. I said, about, I said we. How about who my right? brother Mike Booth put me on to? Uh, Lola Brock. Lola Brock. Yeah, uh -huh. Man, yeah, she's like making that. a round. I'm okay with it. Okay with it. Okay right, with Chad, it. My, I'm playing. I'm playing. Play, play, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Hey, no, don't play. Don't play. Don't play. Shout out to Mike Booth, man. Yeah, Megan Williams. Shout out to Mike Booth. No, never had Megan on our show. Would you? Would I? Yeah. Yeah, I would. I would too. I would. Who? Uh, Megan. And then, you know what? I want to I wanna apologize to her, too, because I saw 50 put out an apology. What, you went at Megan, too? Um, we didn't believe her. <laughs> we did not believe her, bro. We, we didn't believe her. She needed more people? She definitely needed more people. But she didn't really need more people. She just, we just needed to hear that, that, that jail conversation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was not good. Yeah. And then Tory Pops got an ill cut. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Lord Jesus, <laughs> but, but I want but, but I want to pu publicly apologize to Megan because, you know, as black men, we're supposed to protect our women. That's right. And I feel like I failed in that category as far as like you know the things that I said what on our podcast. I just, I just didn't I'm believe. At your eyes. I just the didn't first believe. Time, it, you got puppy eyes. It, it, it was not. It was. It was. You must yeah. have said some shit. Yeah. Nigga. Look at you. you yeah. I you, did. This is the sincerest moment ever. It is. It's it I'm is. not even. You seeing you sincere. like there. I'm almost disappointed. Like, what, did you, <laughs> what did you say, man? Why did I be disappointed? You know, you know, he he no, is apologizing like, right now. No, no, no. Nah, but I got to say though, you know. um what you know, I'm I'm sorry for like what you, you kept went asking through. Him, what, what, uh, I'm I'm sorry for what you went through. I'm sorry for you know, for, for that coming from a black man. Right. And um, yeah, I apologize. Do you so, think? Do you think? Uh, and, and by the way, Tory's my man. Tory been on in here. Yeah. Do you think Tory didn't take it serious? Like at one point, he fell asleep. Mm, I think in court. Like I don't think you're taking your life serious. You fall asleep in court. I. I think. Tory, we're, we're, you know, but we're both of them. I hope they find better places in their lives because we've seen plenty of artists go through shit. We saw Chris and Rihanna go through their shit. Mm. And then, you know, look at where they're at now. Mm. So hopefully we can get to that space. But we do need to do more about 
us just misusing each other. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We need to acknowledge that we're human beings and some of us come with traumas. And those traumas could sometimes lead people in the wrong direction. So the more we work on our mental health, I feel like that will better us as a culture. And you know what's crazy? We owe Canada so much favors, Canada could have stepped in. Canada? Canada. The country. Yeah. Because he's a Can- he's a Canadian. So yeah. I know, I get it, but you said we owe them or they we, owe us? But yeah, we, like I mean, Canada could have stepped in, but mean? it's violence. Right. Violence, they can't, they can't do that. Right. They can't. But like, if if he would have got caught with kilos, I think Canada would have flexed. They must have been on like, yo, just, just like, yo, bring it back, bring it back, right. bring it back. Like, they would have did, the, did, did a switch with, with the Russian. Oh. Right. <laughs> they would have did, 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 did the swap. Yeah. 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 Right, right. What's the what's 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 the nah. the Russian shit was wild. Yeah. Literally. But but another thing I want to say but, is um. Well, by the way, they traded a basketball player for a killer. That was hard. Not just that a was killer. Hard. Not just a killer. Like a killer. Not she just a killer. On court, bro. Homie had. Nah, that's what Homie had mad. Homie had. Like bodies, right? Yeah. Not bodies. He was, weapons game was crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. He funded wars. Yeah, but that's that's the part that everybody looks over. He was getting out in a couple more months. Anyway, was he, he? he had been in there for a minute. He was, so he was, was about to get out. Pre planned already, bro. Right. That they, shit they, was pre planned. Yeah, Yo, but really, I'm going to tell you something. That was like, I'm going to tell you something. I'm still glad she got that's out. That's real. Yes. Yeah. Right. My last conversation with Kanye before like he kind of like went dark. Was that's what he told me? He said he's going to Ru- he's headed to Russia. No, to with, I swear to God, he told you. I going told to that Russia to meet with Putin to free homegirl. Oh, I swear to God, to yeah. I thought wow. so. I there. Whatever, whichever way, <laughs> whichever way it happened, Kanye was the first person to put it in Putin's mind. Now, now here's a no, question. He here's a, here's I'm no, just no, no, no. Hold on. Here's a question for both of y'all. And I don't know if Kanye told me that off the record. So if I said that by mistake, no, I think Kanye, he said my I bad. Think he said it. Can, can, yeah, but I, I, I got it. Can y'all see ourselves doing shit like that? Doing like what? Like going to meet with rulers a whole country. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Man, hell yeah. You know what's fucked up? I smoke weed in Russia with him. Me and him were in Russia, and that was the most terrifying thing in the world. Yo, that was the most wow. racist pl- pr- Yo, place I've ever place been in my planet. Scary. Listen, listen, they so racist. <laughs> listen, planet. listen. No, no, no. But listen, I say that they with so racist respect. they can't even look at you. Why would you say? They don't even. No, listen, what do you mean? I'm not going to Russia how ever. Fucked up it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm, and this is how dope it was at the same time. The promoters that booked who picked us, us up, booked him. I was his DJ and right. the manager at the same time. Yes. Mm. The, the promoters that booked us. You want to know what they button said? No, hold up. Okay. I got to say it. Okay, let them say it. Russians against racism. I said, we're fucked. Yo, if you got a real <laughs> button that says Russians against racism, we don't belong here. And by the way, by the way, no, by the tell way. Tell about the story with the soccer gang. Oh, hold on. I'm going to get to that. By soccer? the way, let me just tell you how crazy it was, right? Is the, I, we forget that they just look at us like Americans. Right. There is no West Coast. There is no East Coast. No, like, You're just so the guy comes and picks us up in a 6'4 Chevy. No, he was cool, though. <laughs> he was super Yo, cool. This dude had a but in Russia. He thought, Wait, in Russia, they, he thought that was going to be your shit. Like, I was like, going to be like, oh! oh. Like, and you're I'm like, like, what the fuck? I don't want to see. We don't drop this <laughs> shit. No, 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 no. He had the Russian <laughs> hat with the York Yankees joint, a Tony Touch mixtape on a low rider, hitting switches. Yeah. Oh, so he's God. doing hip hop all that's together. What, really? You know, that's, that's why, why, that's why it was we. His interpretation. Let me tell you something. He's that's why we should never right. hate on each other. Mm. Because outside of us, everyone looks at us the same. Hmm. They I'm going to be honest that's with you. That's real. What he's saying is so ill. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. We just came, went to Hawaii. Right. How was it? Me, my friend Diego, um, and they were racist. Diego is my white friend. He literally, sometimes when we're jogging, he'll walk in front of a car. Because he's white. He got that privilege. Yeah. They're not going to hit him. Don't even look. They're not going to hit him. They won't even look. They were racist to Diego. <laughs> I've wow. never seen this before. That's crazy. He literally bought a drink. Well, that's and Hawaii. the Hawaiian yeah, guy came guys- up to him and said... You can't drink on the dance floor. The bar is the dance floor, nigga. What the fuck do you mean? That's crazy. I'm talking about, like, literally, and I was like, wow, they literally hate Americans in Hawaii. Crazy. Like, Well, it's America, though. Yeah, it's listen, part of us. And now, so here's what's crazy. Here's what's crazy, um, EFN. I come home and I watch this show called White Lotus. Anybody ever seen this show called White Lotus? They just won a Golden Globe, won an Oscar or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, and then in, in White Lotus, 
the lady says, oh, I, I wanted to leave because, and it's deep, it's deep. She said, but why would I stay here? These guys stole our land and then they make us dance for them for dinner. So when you eat dinner in Hawaii, yeah, the luau, these people yeah, are yeah, dancing. The luau. Yeah. The luau. Yeah, the luau. Like, y'all. But <laughs> so the, the girl was like, yo, I don't want to watch this. These guys stole these guys' land and now they got to dance for them for dinner? That shit is deep. Mm. So, so that was then, Diego? No, it gets worse. It gets worse. <laughs> Diego it gets stole worse. Land. So now we're in a hotel. We're walking through. Diego's blended in. It's nothing but me, Mike Boo. How is he blended in? Come no, on, it, relax. A guy doesn't see him. A guy doesn't see him. Right. Guy walks by and goes, there's too many fucking white people in this pool. Hawaiian oh, guy. Oh, <laughs> I said, oh, yeah. shit. This is the only place in America. They raised us to white people. <laughs> And then Diego, oh, Diego, Diego walks up to him He goes Does he see him right here? Because he's, he's He blended in with black people He felt so comfortable Saying that It was crazy I'm sorry I'm sorry I went I went, I went too far Nah it was amazing No, nah, it's, it's crazy Because you don't know And, and then a whale Stepped to me A whale? Uh-huh. Stepped to you You said a whale Yeah Stepped to you What kind of whale? He posted that on his gram Yeah I ain't like it what kind you're of whale? You scared of the whale. You're yeah, like scared of the whale. What do you mean he stepped to you? Cause three three pit bulls in the hood stepped to me. Okay, I like this story first. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. It was three of three them? Three pit bulls? Three pit bulls came running out. Where we at? Flatbush? I live, no, I live in Crown Heights. Crown Heights, right? So, so in between Crown Heights, there's these, these private houses. Okay. It's like a little area where you feel like, oh shit, uh, I want to have a house like this one day. Nice. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I would take chicks on walks mm. through that neighborhood and like be like, yeah, we gonna get this out, mm. we gonna do this, da da da, da. bring back to the apartment <laughs> and smash, you know what I mean? Mm. But one day, me and three of my homeboys was walking through there, mm. and these dogs came running out from one of those houses. Pit bulls. And I turned around, looked at them, and I started talking like Tony Montana. <laughs> You were Cuban? You want to play? No. <laughs> I told you a long time ago. Yeah, I said, you want to play with me? Hey! <laughs> and they stopped. They were barking and running at top speed, and they stopped. It was like, oh, shit. He's not scared. All right, we out of here. And I was like, yeah, that's how you I turned around. My homies was going. It was down the block. But, yeah, three pit bulls pressed me in. It's a whale step to me. A whale. But step to <laughs> he you. He was on a like, boat, though. How, how does a whale step to you in the ocean? <laughs> yeah. It ain't like you were scuba diving. Axel, 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 yeah. Did he swim lying. to you yeah. or did he step to you? Yeah. That's like, the same shit. Not at all. Look, because they, they, by the way, by the way, my <laughs> wife got me. Yeah. My wife never said whale watching nothing. She said, we're taking a sunset cruise. So I say, oh, okay, that sounds cool. Right. <laughs> 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 and then, you get to the, you remember the last dragon? Yeah. You remember the last Absolutely. dragon? And they said, and there ain't no coming back. Right. We got to the level where there ain't no coming, coming back. back. Right. I said, fuck. And then, and then they said, well, this is where the wells is at. So these motherfuckers turn off the engine. We don't want to scare the wells. But I'm like, how about the whale scaring me? <laughs> right. So they're like, look, it's over there. <laughs> it's over and there. then the whale comes up. Like, oh, yeah, I cool. Yeah, the water, right. Then they just come straight to the y'all. Straight to you. But what you are you doing? You're going to turn legs on the boat. Out the fucking no, I'm on the front of the boat smoking weed. Because that's the only yeah. place you can smoke on the front. It's the front. So right. me and Mike both... And I, I got up and I just moved away. I said, uh uh-uh, uh, this is not good. And then the whale said, Shh. and then he flew under the boat. This is Paul. He flew under the boat. I mean, yeah, he, swam. <laughs> he that, swam under that, the that boat. That whale's off the chain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but by the way, let me just tell you, and he flew on pause. Let me tell you how, pause. Let me say how big the whale was. Right. That he flew under the boat. Everybody was like, oh, this is neat. I was like, this is not neat at all. <laughs> what? Right. Leanne is filming from one side. Diego's filming from the other side. They got the same view. <laughs> That's how big, like all he had to do was, and everyone else, no one's, no one's panicking. Everyone's like, ah. <laughs> 
It was at that very moment I knew I was different. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't it. Let's wrap it up. <laughs> Time to go. And I'm drinking my ties. I'm like, this is. And then at one point, the whale just looked at me. He just came. He, he don't like it. Was you? And then he came straight to. You saw the eye. And the, eye to eye. I swear he, to God. You know what the lady? You. you know what the lady said? You know what the lady came to me? I promise you, there's people here that can co-sign the story. The lady came to me and said, "The whales know you don't like them." Mm. Oh, so that they they keep filming them. I said, "Well, tell the whales that's full." <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Invite them to drink cans." Whatever, what you I was like, "Yo, tell them it's not. I don't like them. Right. I'm scared." Yeah, right. And then this is how I knew someone right about this talk. The guy takes a mic and he goes. Uh-uh. <laughs> Takes the mic, he goes, listen, we're going to listen to the whales now. <laughs> and he throws it in the water, and the whales start speaking. I said, this nigga got a mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> a whale mixtape? This nigga got a whale mixtape. And then he just started talking. <laughs> 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 and they were talking bad shit about you. <laughs> you like, how did the whale get that close, man? <laughs> Wow. I kid you not. I wish I was exaggerating any part of this story. I am not. I am not. There's people yeah, here, right? You're the one. Nah, but it's, it's a beautiful. Um, yeah. uh, that is Maui. Uh-huh. <laughs> one of my favorite places on earth, Maui, right. Honolulu. Um, we're going to the big island. Big up to Ron Artest. Um, Shout out to Ron. Ron, world metal piece. Word. Don't go fuck with him. He he got the people with Dish Network or Direct TV. Something like that. They got a little party, so we're going to go out there. Right. Shout out to Ron. Yeah, but, 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 but man, let me just tell y'all once again. I know how hard it is to operate in this space, and I know how hard it is to be important in that space. And I want to salute you, brothers. Eye to eye, man to man. Tell y'all, continue to do your thing. What y'all doing is right. Y'all on the right path. The fact that y'all just... Uh, suffered some controversy. I loved it. Because <laughs> there wasn't no light on you. No, no, I loved it because we all got to experience that. Yeah, we all because got to Because right. rain, sun is not good unless you enjoy the rain, too. That's a fact. You know what I mean? So, um, I'm a man of the rain. Like, uh, I never really cooked coke good. So when I was a hustler, I had to hustle in the rain. <laughs> Real hustlers called, well, I'm the, saying. The, rain. The, 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 the niggas that cook it good they ain't outside in the they rain. They outside in three o'clock. Because they got good shit. Listen, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, you want to be available at the, the worst possible time because your shit ain't that good. I, I but you're going to make that sound. I the morning shift. Nobody else I was is the outside. morning shift. Right. I, was, I, was, I was like from four to nine, like when no one's outside. So, yeah. b- crackhead Brenda, she can't really complain. Like, yeah. who you else you gonna see? Exactly. <laughs> Just nobody else. And you remember here. rain skins? I used to have the rain skins, the Columbia jackets. Y'all remember oh, the yeah, Columbia remember jackets? Shit, yeah. The Gore-Tex. Yep. Oh, I used right. to love snow, rain, and the morning shift because mm. cause I knew that was it. But So what I'm trying to tell y'all, I'm relating that to y'all, is it's very hard to be out here. Yeah. And what's so crazy, this podcast is the new rappers, right? You know how everyone was wrapped? So, it, like I said, it's Costco's. You know what I mean? It's Costco's. Like, Co- everyone wants to be in Costco's. Right. Being in the back of Costco's doesn't mean nothing. Nothing. Right? right. Unless that, that person is going to look for that. So, I want to big y'all up. Every one of y'all, um, I want y'all to know that I understand. I want y'all to continue and keep being unapologetic about this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because... Um, I love that you went through it with Styles P because Styles P is a real person. Right. And we we got to learn, um, period, that sometimes relationships, we got to choose between relationships and media. Right. And I had to learn that. I, I, I learned it in such a bad way that you learn it in a, such a better way that I enjoy it. Like, I enjoy you going through. And and it's like the seesaw, right? You, the seesaw is not good unless it got to go It'll up go and up. down. Yeah, in fact. And then there got to be two people on a seesaw. A seesaw can't work by itself. Exactly. <laughs> I got deep. I ain't going to lie. I killed that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I, I made that up right now. I ain't going to lie. 
I was like, oh shit, you killed that. Like, but nah, honestly, honestly, for real, what y'all doing is hard. As a person that been through, I know what y'all going through. I know what y'all gonna continue to go through. It's hard. But know that y'all on the path of righteousness. Mm -hmm. Know that y'all on that yellow brick road. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to lead to Dorothy. Thanks. Or to the, the yeah. Wicked Witch of the West. Or Toto. No. <laughs> no. That's where you don't want to go. You no. don't, don't want to go to the that's Wicked Witch of the Rest. That's just part of the story. <laughs> yeah. That's just part that's of the story. You guys see, at. You guys but see. the Wicked Witch of the Rest exists. <laughs> Thank you for saying right. that. You know what? Yeah. That, was, that was genius. Yeah, she had it every, exists. She had but we need level. to avoid her. Right. right. To get to Dorothy. And we need to tap our boots. Because guess what? There's no place like home. Mm. That's a fact. And you know where home is? Here. Right. It's not a place. It's, it's here. And that is also taking care of your family. Right. Taking care of people. DMX sat right there. And DMX said something to me that changed my life forever. I said something about an artist and DMX said, I can't call him whack. And I said, why? He said, because... For every one artist, they feed 16 people from the hood. So if I call this artist whack, I'm taking away from 16 people's mouths. Mm. Mm. So I don't call no podcast whack, even though a lot of y'all niggas is whack out there. <laughs> I don't. Right. <laughs> Right. Look, you want to say something? <laughs> but, but, but I feel Let's you on that. Let's take a shot. Let's that. take a shot to end this out. But I'm telling y'all, again, I know me and you have very close relationship. A lot of people don't know that. We don't really tell people. But anytime you call, I pick up. Anytime I call, you pick up. You be there for me, too. Thanks. I loved when you called me for Wu-Tang. When I was going through the, you remember that? Yeah, right. I was going through the Wu-Tang shit, man. Kanye boy, man. shit. You called me for the Kanye. Yeah, shit. And... As much as I know you appreciate me, I want you to know I appreciate you. I sit down, I take your advice as well. Um, it's not just, it's a seesaw with us. Right. And I respect all of you brothers. And I want y'all to continue to do what y'all gotta do. Keep monkey footing these people in their fucking face. Okay. Yeah. Keep, keep it doing it. Yeah. Keep doing it. Because, because, because y'all on the right path. Not it. Hold on, so fuck the wicked witch of the west. Go out there and go hang out with Darty. Facts. No, take the Emerald picture. City is the goal. Yep. Take, take a picture because uh, I feel like my wife is already drunk. 